two. Test, test, test. Testing, testing. Is the camera even on? Is cam? I don't think camera's on. Is it? Test, test, test. Picking up nothing. Zero zilch. Z zilch. Is it picking it up? I can see green when I talk. Welcome to GTA Grizzlies football. We're here today. Uh, fucking motherfucker, wireless transmitter.
here we are today at the GTA Grizzlies' third home game of this season. Welcome to week five of the CJFL season of your GTA Grizzlies playing the Ottawa Sooners. Ottawa Sooners are sitting at 3-1 currently, second in the division. The GTA Grizzlies 0-4, looking for their first home win of the season. We're just about to take away the kickoff here, and let's see if the GTA Grizzlies can find their first home win of the season. And the offense has, hasn't found their groove at home as of yet. Today, they're looking for a change. They're looking for the swing of the season they need. And Ottawa Sooners, after the Beef Eaters loss, are looking for potentially taking over first place, place in the division. A lot at stake for the Ottawa Sooners and GTA Grizzlies looking to find a way to make this a season. Week 5, kicking off of the CJFL season. Ottawa will be receiving. The ball fell, and they will fix that up, and we'll get the, we'll get the kickoff to the game right away. Ottawa will be receiving the ball to start the game. And we are off. The ball is being kicked off. And he, oh, he fumbles it off the leg. And the GTA Grizzlies get on top of the ball. Grizzlies ball. What a way to start the game. Grizzlies find a way. He mishandles the catch off the kick. And the Grizzlies find a way to get that on that ball. And what a way to start the game. Kicking the ball away and getting offensive possession at a great point of the field. Just how the offense would like to start the game. Gives them great field position here. First and 10 from about the 36-yard line in Ottawa Sooners territory. And we are in today. We are at in beautiful Brampton, Ontario at the Terry Fox Track and Field Stadium. It's a beautiful... Sun, cloudy day, a bit overcast. We have maybe a light drizzle coming in, but we're not expecting many, much rain today. Weather conditions, winds are low. Shouldn't be too much of a factor. And this is the first time at home the GTA Grizzlies are playing under the lights. 
and let's see if being under the lights at home gives them the boost that they need. And here we go. The offense lines up. Receiver's in motion. He steps back, and he throws it, and it's intercepted by the Sooners. That is not ideal way to start. The special teams gave him possession to start the game. And the first play, oh, do you have a flag on the field? And let's see who the flag is against. It looks like it may be going against the Grizzlies as the Ottawa Sooners offense is taking the field. And the Ottawa Sooners offense does take the field here. After the first play of the game is an interception. Not ideal way to start for the offense. And here comes the Sooners offense. First time we're seeing him. He drops back. He rolls it right. He's running. He gets a little juke. And then the defense is there to stuff him. No gains. The defense says no thank you. And that will be second and about but line the line of scrimmage that will be about second and 14 second and long this GTA Grizzlies defense has a chance to give their offense the ball back at a 0-0 game here in the first well they gotta play physical I was talking to Mark Holder this morning and uh, physicality is going to be the name of the game with the Grizzlies today. Receiver drop back. He looks deep. He throws it and picked up for the Grizzlies. And now he drops it. Let's see what they call it. If they call it. Matt, what do you think of the defense right there? That's the type of effort they're going to need for this entire game today, Kevin. If we see that all day, we're going to have ourselves a great game. The special teams gave the offense the ball early on that botched kick return at the start of the game. And the first play, they threw a pick here. The defense getting another interception. Let's see if this offense can find a groove here. And last time they played, Matt, uh, I think it was uh, Ottawa won the game by a deciding, uh, deciding fashion. They did. Ottawa's no slouch. They want to win today. If they can win, uh, they'll move up to second in the division. And, uh, you know, that's exactly where they want to be. Yep, they want to get into that uh, second place uh, in the in the, uh, in the the division there, Kevin. I, man, I guess I can't talk today. Uh, beat Peters lost last night big to the undefeated St. Clair uh, team. And uh, if they can win, uh, they'll be in second and in good place for the playoffs. is going to be the key here in this game today. Uh, special teams and defense have not been the problem for the Grizzlies. It's the offense and getting on the board. Kevin, if they can turn their ship around today uh, by playing a sound physical game, it's going to happen. Uh, oh, double handoff. That's a good effort so far by uh, this offense, though. They're moving up the ball. They're playing physical, taking it right to the Sooners football team. And if they can keep that going, uh, you have a good chance to make this happen today, Kevin. Thank you. 
Presley's primetime field position there, Kevin. That's exactly what you want. You got to capitalize on mistakes in these in uh, moments like this. for this is to keep him in the back. play call by the Sooners there, Kevin, allowing uh, the runner to gain as many yards as he did. They can't allow big plays like that, or else it's going to be a long day for the Houston Grizzlies. And here he goes, and he goes right back to it. Runs to the right. Aggression is the name of the game here, Kevin. That's what the, the Grizzlies are bringing, but they can't be making mistakes like that or else they're going to be on this field for a while, getting tired, and that's not what you want with the defense, knowing that the offense is also struggling. You want to give the offense as much opportunities as you can. And there will be a first and 20 here for the Ottawa Sooners offense, and this is a good chance for the GTA Grizzlies to make a stop here. There's a little bit of an overthrow there, Kevin. Number four trying to make a you know spectacular catch there, but he was wide open, and uh, the Grizzlies got lucky that they weren't able to capitalize. If you're looking for a first down, you're going to have to throw it here. No doubt about it there, Kevin. Uh, let's see what the Sooners do and see if uh, how aggressive they're trying to be this game. This will say a lot. That was a great defensive stop there, Kevin. Exactly what the Grizzlies wanted. Now it's up to the special teams to make a good play here and obviously have the offense come in and capitalize. Okay. So just switch. And that is third down, third and 20. Ottawa Sooners will be kicking the ball to the GTA Grizzlies. And we're getting a couple whistles here, and we're seeing what... We've got a timeout here. Timeout Ottawa. So we, you want to give a quick shout out to the sponsors there, Matt? Well, Let's we're on a timeout here. We got a Trillium Recycling buying and selling new and used pallets. And of course, uh, wrench it up plumbing, 416-800-5050. Engage 
and Zenith Athletic Performance. And shout out to the sponsors. A league like the CJFL really relies on getting some community help and community partnership to get uh, this semi-professional league going and all the local companies that do support uh, the Canadian Junior Football League and the GTA Grizzlies as a whole. We thank you very much and we hope that you we can have your continued support going forward. It's a beautiful partnership, Kevin, that's for sure. And looks like the special teams is lining up. Ottawa will be kicking it off to the GTA Grizzlies. And let's see if the Grizzlies can get a good return here and set up for some good field position. Uh, flags are down, kick is off, and let's see who the flags go against. And looks like he will attempt to receive it, and he's running to the right. We don't know if this will count, and one push another flag down, and this looks like that one will be against the Grizzlies. We don't know where the first flag is, and this is going to be placed somewhere and we're not quite sure where, Matt. There were two flags on the uh, on that play there, Kevin, but that's Felix Ofori who was running it back and he looks like he's ready to go. And yeah, he if one flag was down, he tried to make the best of it. And the, what can you do there other than that? And I think the flags are down. I don't know where the first flag was on. It's all effort right now for the Grizzlies. Good effort. And uh, let's see what the offense can do here, Kevin. I really do believe this is uh, the major key right now. On GTA, holding on Ottawa. It was a holding call on Ottawa? No, sorry, on GTA. On the GTA Grizzlies, so they're going to be moving the ball back to Kevin. Ottawa. And procedure on Ottawa. And the ref's just discussing now where the ball will be placed. And it looks like that... This discussion is going on a bit further. Next look like they're giving uh, a warning to both teams there. Kevin, not sure what that's about, but uh, he's having a frank discussion with both captains right now. No, they're doing placement of the <laughs> yeah, ball. Yeah, I think they're discussing the placement of the ball here, and it looks like the ball that will go in favor of the GTA Grizzlies by the looks of it. So the procedure. Procedure takes him there. And we're running cameras too up here, Kevin. We are jacks of all trades. It's a real team effort here. And that's the good thing about the GTA Grizzlies. It's all about the team. It's all about uh, the camaraderie. Great organization. Everyone is helping everyone. Everyone's kind of chipping in wherever they can. And that's the one beautiful thing you love to see in this league. It's a beautiful thing, Kevin. And let's see. Restart from fresh. They moved up five yards and get to kick it off again. Let's see what the GTA Grizzlies receiving team can have a good return and set up the offense for some decent field position here. And the kick is off. And it looks short out of bounds at just around the 50. And oh, we have it. It's getting testy out there, Kevin, that's for sure. And that's the kind of frustration that can lose your football games. Those kind of mistakes that are really unnecessary after the play. Um, hopefully GTA can stay composed because Ottawa looks like they are showing some frustration right now. It was already a bad kick too, Kevin. So if they can get a little bit more field position here, taking advantage of uh, you know the rough and tumbleness of the Ottawa Sooners there, that's a great opportunity for the yeah, Grizz. I haven't seen the call yet. This is what it's all about. Smart plays and keeping the ball in your hands. Don't get too fancy here and lose it. No doubt flags are on sale in this first quarter here, Kevin. No, no problem. No problem. We learned our lesson. <laughs> We're all good. I don't
it is a wonderful thing, Kevin. There's no doubt about that. But Ottawa has made a lot of mistakes, and they can't expect Ottawa to only make mistakes for the rest of the game. They got to capitalize to really make it count. Fair offside. Then that was an offside against the Grizzlies, and that will move the ball back five yards, five yards and replay first down. First and fifteen for the GTA Grizzlies. I'd love to see a nice little throwing play here. Get Boyd involved, get him warmed up, and uh, let's see if he can get his receivers going. And Boyd getting ready for the snap. Let's see what they go with here. Receivers in motion, takes the snap, hands it off, runs up, runs to the left, and there's nothing there. The defensive line of Ottawa says no thank you, and that's loss of yards there. Got to get Boyd involved there, but uh, the run game is also very important too, Kevin. So whatever, wherever the offense comes, that's what the Grizzlies got to do. They got to take it. Second down here. You're second and long. What's the move here? Do you go back to the run, or do you think you have some trust in Boyd? And you give Boyd that, uh, give Boyd that confidence and go for a throwing play here. Uh, the player in me, you know, the, my heart says go end zone. You know, why not give give it a launch, give it a test of the defense? But you know what? Nothing wrong with being conservative either, Kevin. And for you too. Oh, that. Thank you. I brought. Yeah, and, and it's one of those things you don't want to be. You don't want to play. Uh, play too risky in a tie game here either. Um, and it's a play action. Throws it incompleted, and that's for first down. Move those chains, Grizzlies. First down. Not first down. No. Oh. <laughs> it's line of scrimmage. <laughs> that's actually not a first down. It's third down, and they will be kicking the ball off. That's understandable, Kevin. Uh, man, I'm just excited to see a throw and catch out of the GJ Grizzlies. You're in field goal position. Let's get some points today. I got a bit too excited there, Matt. My sight line here is uh, we got a bit, we don't have the cleanest sight line. And, uh, Buddy, that, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with it. First half. I'm excited, man. Any offense, good offense out of this team, good plays. Getting fired up to see a, complete, uh, a completion here. Hey, we're we're, we're going to see some boys. Let's get, a, let's get this field goal and get the lead. I bit my tongue. This is quite a way to start the game, and the kick is off. And it is, oh, no good. Hits the post. We got a little too hyped there, Kevin. We, man, it was really close. I Off the post. Them. I jinxed them, Matt. No, the commentator's curse, man. <laughs> it happens. I'm just excited for first downs. I want to see first downs. I want to see completions. And, you know, sometimes you just get out of yourself. That was one of the better efforts we've seen out of the offense uh, this season. You know what I mean? So, hopefully, we can uh, see more of that. And it wasn't a bad kick. It's just a hair one way. It could have went the other way. It was right there. Off the post, man. If this was horseshoes, that would have been perfect, but uh, not today. Hey, you know, I used to play goalie in hockey, and the post was my best friend. <laughs> it can be in this game, too, not Kevin. Not in this game. <laughs> not, for, not for the GTA Grizzlies, at least. For Ottawa, <laughs> Ottawa, and it was their best friend on that one. It had, exactly, that's right. Even the post are against uh, the GTA Grizzlies offense right now, and that's, uh, that's a rough timeout. And it's first and ten for the Ottawa Sooners offense. And what do you think the Ottawa Sooners offense is going to do for right here? Do you think they're going to go to the run, or do you think they're going to keep pushing the, the throw as well? Uh, honestly, Kevin, maybe they. it's either or right now. They've been um, a little bit off this Ottawa Sooners offense, so they, gotta, they too have to start uh, completing passes and moving the chains. And he takes a snap. And he hands, oh, fake handoff. Pitches it back. He runs it right. Finds the hole, and still going, and he's taken down by number 45 on the Grizzlies. That was a really smart play there by uh, the Ottawa Sooners, and it was a first down. And that was Devontae Edwards on the tackle for the GTA Grizzlies, and that will move the chains for your, or the Ottawa Sooners. And you know, I don't want to give off that excitement I was giving up for the Grizzlies first down, because I'm trying not to get ahead of myself either. <laughs> but someone moved the chains, that's for sure on that play. That's what the Ottawa Sooners wanted, man. They, they also have to come out tough. It's a big game for them. They want to move up in the division. Um, and plays like that are how they going to get there. And this GTA Grizzlies offense, or defense, has been playing great, keeping them in this game. And they have a chance here to make a stop. But they still don't have, doesn't have great field possession. This defense still has energy. And we hope they can keep this energy going. And he steps back. Throws it towards the middle. And not enough. A bit overthrown. Not a really a catchable ball there, eh, Matt? Great pressure applied by the defense or by the D-line there of the Grizzlies. They uh, are taking it right to this uh, Ottawa Sooners offense and uh, taking advantage, forcing him to throw maybe sooner than he wants to, Kevin. Yeah, that pocket did not look comfortable there. 
the front four for the Grizzlies were forcing the quarterback, making it uncomfortable, and and even the, the secondary for the Grizzlies, they were right on the, the heels of the receiver there. He didn't make it comfortable for anyone. No doubt about it, Kevin. Effort is not the problem with the GTA Grizzlies. They're trying out there to make whatever plays possible so they can get on the board. And that will be second and ten for the Ottawa Sooners. The receiver's in motion. He steps back. He looks left, looks right, runs it up the middle, and he runs it left. He has some space, and he's going, and he's taken down with a flag. Let's see who it goes against. If the either way is ahead of the first down marker, but we're not sure where the flag is going to go against. The pocket started collapsing on that QB there, Kevin, and uh, a great escape made by him. Uh, a good effort by the Grizzlies, but it did cost him with that blitz. And let's see if, where this penalty goes against, because it might go in the Grizzlies' favor, potentially. Oh, the way the ref's waving the chains down, that looks like it was probably against the Grizzlies. Might have been a late hit there, Kevin, and they've moved up the ball significantly. Uh, and let's see if the Ottawa Sooners decide they're going to take advantage of this. And we're about Ottawa Sooners' offense. This is about the furthest we've seen them get on the field. They're around midfield here. Starting to get some momentum going. Let's see if the GTA Grizzlies can actually stop this momentum from this offense. Need a big stop here definitely by the Grizzlies. Let's see what they can do. Keep that pressure on. He hands it off, and the Grizzlies defense is there to stuff him for a loss of yards. What a play. Nowhere to go. Grizzlies defense says no thank you. The Ottawa Sooners O-line is having a lot of problems there, Kevin. The Grizzlies are getting back there at will, and they are going hard. They want it. Fiscality is the name of the game today for them. And they're taking advantage of it. And that looks like it would be about second and about 14. Second and long. GTA Grizzlies looking to make a stop here, force a kick and get the ball back. And let's get this offense back out here. Every play is a big play for this team, Kevin. And he takes a snap and there's flags right off the bat. This and let's see what the call is. But this has been procedure. a day of flags, and it looks like it's a procedure call. Back five yards. Back five yards. They're getting nervous back there, Kevin. There's no doubt Ottawa. Ottawa, is they're just having a lot of trouble keeping these guys from getting back there, and it's nice to see. And that's about a second and 20, you say? About second and 20? That is a, that's a tough one here. I think you think knowing Ottawa's play calling style here, they're going to air it out and try something here? Quarterback seems to know what he's doing, and he can run, so they got to be prepared for just about anything. Offense lining up, receivers in motion. And he steps back, looks right, looks left, runs to the left, rolling to the left, and he throws it. Completed! Flag is out. It would be enough for a first down. No pending, no flag, but we do have the flag. That was a big hit there, too, uh, by the GTA Grizzlies there. Good attempt. Rough in the passer. Uh, GTA Grizzlies defense catches a bar. It is against the defense. It's yes. undisciplined. A little play. too aggressive there, Kevin, going after this QB. They want him. There's no doubt about it, but uh, they got to stay disciplined and avoid plays like that. Another big time moving up the chains for the Ottawa Sooners. And you could see the Sooners off uh, bench was getting fired up there on that play, and they're starting to get more into this game, and I don't know if that's the best thing to see for the Grizzlies. Uh, that the Sooners are starting to wake up because we know their potential firepower or if maybe they're trying to get fired up because they actually are frustrated. Could be frustration, but when you're moving the chain like this, uh, you're not giving doing yourself any favors. Grizzlies bench is trying to fire up the defense. Ottawa takes the snap. Oh, fumbles it, and it's loose, and he gets on top of it. I don't Looked left, look right, tried to throw. The ball was out, flags are out. I don't know if that ball was tipped or if he just dropped it. And now the chains are moving back there, Kevin. That's yeah, holding penalty. A holding penalty that will go against Ottawa. These teams, they want each other, but uh, 
the aggression from both of them is costing both of these teams it, a lot. I really think it, it's something to do with playing a team a second time in the football season. There's something when you've already played a team that the second time around always seems to be a bit more chippy, have a bit of animosity, and especially the fact that the way GTA lost last time, there must be some bad blood there. Yeah, they uh, got to take it right to them with that 37-7 victory for the Sooners. The penalty was declined. they rather take it as second down and long. GTA Grizzlies trusting their defense to make a stop here. They've been aggressive enough to, uh, that's an understandable call, Kevin. Try and make, make them lose some more yards and uh, get some better field position out and away from that field goal unit. And this Ottawa offense lining up. GTA Grizzlies looking for a stop. Something tells me we're going to see a throwing play here. And he steps back it's in the pocket. He throws it for the end zone and almost caught. It was in his hands. And he must have had some butter on those gloves because it just slipped down in the nick of time. Well, there was uh, yeah, there was a little bit of in interference there. And uh, they're going to definitely move it up because he had it, but uh, he got hit pretty rough on that pass interference there. Yep. What did he call? 15-yard penalty. 15-yard yeah, penalty. Um, I think, do you think they had to make that play there, pending that would have been a touchdown? Yes, there's no doubt about it, Kevin. Uh, that was pass interference. And again, another mistake made by the Grizzlies. That is, uh, it's just not helping them with these. all these flags. They're playing against not just the Sooners, but also the refs. That being said, though, it would have been a touchdown. I think a penalty is not over a touchdown. I think you take that. Fresh set of downs, though. So now the defense will be on. They're tired. But, you know, you need a big stand there. If they can escape with, you know, no you points or a three. A field goal, that's a win, right? For sure. And he throws it right. Catch is made. He has a bit of room. The defense takes him down at the 10. That's a good stop there by the Grizzlies. they got to keep that effort going. And it will be second down and about four, four yards. What do you think here? Second and four in the red zone. You're going to run the ball and just try to get that first down here? No doubt about it. I would definitely run the ball. Uh, but you know what? You, you never know. This team's uh, done some trickery earlier, so you might see a throw for the end zone. And this team, this offense does seem hungry for a touchdown. They're looking for it. They're not playing passive. They want it right now. And I wouldn't be surprised if they end up going for it. Confident in their quarterback too, Kevin, so we never know what's going to happen. And the GTA Grizzlies red zone defense having their first time tested in the red zone here today. Quarterback takes a snap, and he does go with the handoff, runs it right, runs up the middle, and that's taken down about the five yard line, enough for the first down. That's gonna be first and goal at about the five yard line for the Ottawa Sooners. Defense is tired, Kevin. They're getting worked, and it's costing them in this first quarter. And the good thing with this this defense right now, though, is they are bending, but they aren't, haven't broke yet. And they still have a chance to make a stop here. And that could be a huge, a huge momentum swinger for this team if they can get that stop. That's true. If they can escape with just three points here, that uh, is probably the best-case scenario. Ottawa lining up. Receivers in motion. Takes the snap. Hands it off. Runs to the right. And he finds the hole he needs. Touchdown, Ottawa Sooners. The number 25? Yep. That was bound to happen there, Kevin. And it's not the fault of the Grizzlies' defense, but at the same time, when you make so many mistakes and you move the ball down the field with, what, two 20-yard penalties? 15-yard 15, 15 penalties coming down there? Discipline plays are going to hurt you in this league. There's no doubt about that. And they will be going for the one extra point on the kick here. This clock is a pit. <laughs> And six nothing right now for Ottawa. Let's see if they can make it seven. And they're lining up, and the kick is off, and good. And that is catch who the, t uh, the kicker was? Seven nothing for the Ottawa. We're from our sponsor, of course. Uh, this game is sponsored by Trillium Recycling. 
buying and selling used pallets. Also, wrench it up plumbing, 416-800-5050. Don't forget, engage 416. And of course, Zenith Athletic Performance. And Ottawa is kicking it back off to the Grizzlies. Grizzlies are getting a chance to even this game out. And maybe this is the time that we see this offense wake up. They made that completion on the last play. They are getting some positive momentum. Let's see if they can build on that and make a drive downfield for some points. Special teams hasn't been the problem, as we've mentioned earlier, Kevin. That kick is out of bounds. No attempt to return it. And the Grizzlies have had some uh, injuries of their own. And the fact of the matter is, it's about next man up for this team. That mentality has definitely been adopted, and they've got to push, push, push. Like Zenith Athletic Performance does, their clients. They really push them to their to their limits. Got to get the best out of those clients, Kevin. Right? right. Only, only, only the best for uh, the GTA Grizzly sponsorship, that's for sure. And the ball is placed in midfield here for the GTA Grizzlies offense. Decent field position, but like you said, if you're not moving chains, there's nothing that that's going to help. That's right. They've got to string some good plays together, good runs, the smart throws, and move the ball. Doesn't It doesn't have to be all in one play, Kevin. That's a, that's a very big deal. And the ball is at the 40, GTA Grizzlies 40-yard line. And quarterback Boyd is back out after his first completion of the night, looking to build on that and looking to take control of this game and try to bring the Grizzlies back in this and even this out. No doubt about it, Kevin. They made some good plays on their last time out, just weren't able to come away with any points. Doesn't show on the scoreboard, but they've been playing pretty well. Hey, a one-score game is not bad, right? They're in this game. This is a game. That's right. And the last time uh, me and you were doing this, uh, the score was a lot different. Looking to throw it. And he throws it right in. That is way underthrown. Intercepted. Not even a chance to be caught. He's returning it back, and he's out at about the 40, right where pretty much GTA had the ball. Not ideal. I don't think there was any chance that anyone was getting on that butt to Ottawa. That was, that was the problem there, Kevin. It was a wobbly throw, and like I said, they needed to make short, simple plays to move the ball up the field, not going out, going for the big ones, and that ended up costing them. And now the defense, who's been tired, they're back on the field. And I don't. Then the play call there isn't bad. It's like you like the aggressive nature, but it's just unfortunately just the execution wasn't wasn't where we need, where it needed to be per se. Oh, I'm not the coach, Kevin. There's no doubt about that. I'm I'm not you know that guy. But I'm I'm hoping that uh, they can ease it a little bit because too big, too too much, too early is costing them. And that is the end of the first quarter with the score seven for Ottawa Sooners, zero for your GTA Grizzlies. GTA Grizzlies defense is back out here trying to make a stop and keep them at a one score game. Grizz got to make it happen here, Kevin. Defense, defense, defense. And like you said, against this Ottawa team, you can't afford mistakes. You can't afford mental errors. You got to stay disciplined. This isn't a team that you, you you need to like you said. You need to capitalize on their mistakes, and you need to play almost a perfect mental game here. And uh, we're seeing. Uh, both those things haven't quite been in the favor of the GTA Grizzlies so far. The, the Sooners have been playing far from perfect, Kevin. That's the fact of the matter in this game. But when you're losing to the referees and, and to your own mistakes, that's going to end up, you know, making them look better than really what they've been uh, what they've been showing today. And let's see what the, they're just trying to figure something here out on the technical end of things. The ref discussing, and we're just waiting to get going here. It looks like. They're just trying to get something sorted out. Sorting out the scoreboard, Kevin. Nice night in Brampton, eh? Oh, it's a beautiful night. We got all the windows open here in the booth. We're enjoying this breeze. It's uh, t-shirt weather in the evening in September. Can you really complain about that? Uh, I don't know if it's really t-shirt. I got a t-shirt on, but I'm uh, missing my sweater, man. I, I, I should have brought it. I looked at it, <laughs> thought about bringing it, and now look at me. I'm, I'm getting ready to start shivering. <laughs> <laughs> Need a hot chocolate out here. I'll tell you one thing, though. The players on this field are staying warm the way they're playing today. This has been a heated affair both ways. Well, that defense is hot, man, because they've been running up and down this field. 
and uh, it's the offense that uh, they need to get out here and they need to get warm. And I like how GT has been fighting this game. They they don't want it. They don't want to be a pushover. They know that they're on four. They know that they got to swing the season around, and they could. It's easy to come into this game and think it's already done, but they said no. They said we want to push Ottawa. We want to get our revenge. We want to turn this ship around, and that's the thing I think you got to build on if you're the GTA Grizzlies. Oh, there's no doubt about that, Kevin. And it's important to remember the GTA Grizzlies are a young, inexperienced team. Not much, uh, you know. The Sooners have more experienced players, and uh, you know they got to take advantage of that. But they're they're a fun team to watch these GTA Grizzlies, and you know, ah, let's keep it going. It's a drone. And it looks like that the delay is because we have a drone flying over the field. Yeah, you can't do that which uh, is not allowed. So the referees are trying to get this sorted out. And hopefully that uh, whoever's flying this drone learns that that's not allowed. Tickets can be expensive, man. I mean, if I got to bring my drone <laughs> and watch it from the sky, maybe that's how it goes. Watch it from the park. That's a very 2022 problem. Game delay for drone activity <laughs> above the pitch. I think that's the that's first I've seen, and that's very 2022. I've, I've, I've never knew that was a problem. Uh, I guess it is. But good eye on whoever saw that. I never even noticed that. I don't know who, who eyed it out or... They got uh, Bill Belichick coming here. He's stealing the plays, man. Once again, someone's stealing the plays, perhaps, <laughs> bringing the drone down. Why well, steal the plays when you have a beautiful live stream you could be watching and listening to, right? Th that's what I'm saying. But you see, when you got the sky view from the drone, that's what that's that's, that's what's going to happen there. Maybe the beef eaters are a bit salty after their loss. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, Ottawa, they, that is not serious. Do not take me serious. <laughs> you never know who's going to be on the other end of that <laughs> drone <laughs> so you got to get it out of the what sky do you do in this situation do you uh, get whoever has the nicest kick uh nicest like leg or arm and you just try to <laughs> kick it up at it those or? drones are pretty expensive man just 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 land it and get it out of there this is a no fly zone though in <laughs> Grizzlies football canada rule actually no flying and you know what else the airport's not too far from here so you know what Keep the drones at home. Don't bring them to the game. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, keep the drones at home, folks. That's an easy mistake, I guess. Uh, People uh, just don't know that. Most of the time, people don't know that you need permits for things, I think. I would think so. Maybe he does have his permit. He thought he could fly it out here, but he does not have a permit from the Canadian Junior Football League, that's for sure. And the rest, of, they're still discussing something. I'm not sure what the drone is out of the sky. Oh. You can't update you that much. The drone is out of the air. They have, the refs have, uh, have not been shameful with the flag, so it could be just a flag on the drone. And so we'll, we'll see. see if they're trying to kick him out of the stadium, maybe? I'm, I'm guessing here. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm just uh, oh. filling dead air, as they say. <laughs> hey, man, we're trying. 10-yard <laughs> penalty on the drone. I'm sorry if you're here watching this football stream and you're here <laughs> listening to us talk about drones, but that's what the CJFL is today. Uh, apparently, we got, <laughs> we got drone delay. Oh, it's that, that drone has been taken down, but he's over there on the track. He's having a good time. We're having a good time. The refs are still discussing something. We're not sure what uh, what they're discussing. Oh yeah, I can see it here. And is it back up? And yep. the drone is back up. Okay, maybe it was a part of the media team and they're trying to get some footage for marketing and they're just saying do not do it above the playing area. Maybe that's what... Uh, I don't know, but they're not going to do it until it's down. But it looks like they will be... They were talking to Ottawa's, the refs are going to talk to Ottawa's coach. No, 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 no. The refs have no intention of starting as long as there's a drone in the air. I did see uh, Ottawa did have a camera crew. I don't know if it's their drone, but uh, they definitely came here with their own photographers and whatnot, so maybe uh, the drone is a part of that. Penalty? If that's uh, a member of that team, should that not be a delay game penalty against that team? If it's a member of their staff, you think? I'll tell you what, the Grizz should, uh, should protest. Any yards they can get are good yards, so I wouldn't mind that. Um, I guess it's not a, not a penalty, I guess, to have a staff delay the game with their drone. Coach is on the field, man. Coach is upset. Is the drone down, coming down? And the drone is coming down. Oh, he's flying it to a certain end of the field. They told him that they wanted, I think, on the exterior of the track. 
and the, by the dressing rooms to fly over because that's not officially over the playing area and that is what I'm gauging so we are currently getting and here comes full fly across this is drone guy right here the drone guy is walking with his drone well this is the best time good time to have a word from our sponsors why not uh, actually start. we're back in it <laughs> never mind <laughs> we'll get back to the sponsors though uh, they are important we love Trillium and Ottawa takes a snap back looks right throws it deep and that is completed we got to draw. And TJ Grizzlies pick up the fumble that went from a bad completion potential touchdown to a turnover. Grizzlies football. That was a beautiful strip there by the defense, Kevin. This defense, if anyone's going to be our trillion player of the game, it might have to be the entire defensive squad of the GTA Grizzlies, especially with a play like that. The football gods were not happy with that drone activity and gave the GTA Grizzlies a bounce there because that was a touchdown. Now, it was clear cut. I thought it was over right there, but not giving up is the name of the game when it comes to, to anything, but especially on defense. Sunday night in Brampton. Wacky things are happening. You gotta love it. Great play. I love defense, Kevin. That's for sure. The crowd is loving it, so let's see if the GTA Grizzlies can take advantage. It looks like they have the ball at their own four-yard line, but they, that is a way better position than being down two scores. Let's see if this offense can march down the field and tie this game potentially. Short plays, smart plays. That's what I want to see out of the Grizz. Lining up. Uh, lining up, takes the snap, hands it off, runs it left, and runs up the middle, and I think maybe a yard gain there, if that. We'll see where they place it. And no, pretty much stuffed at the line. Looks like they did gain about a yard there, so that's something. Second and about, actually, maybe even two. Second and eight. It was a good attempt, smart play. Get the ball away from the end zone. You don't want any touchbacks. We've seen, uh, or sorry, no safeties. We saw that in their uh, last game with the beef eaters, so. And Boyd gives Boyd a bit more room to make a second down play here. Lines up, he's scanning the field, seeing what he has. Boyd takes the snap, hands it off, and he runs it up the middle with room, and he keeps going. And he's taken down at about, let's see where it's spotted. And it looks like it's just enough for a first down. Move those chains. GTA Grizzlies first down. And Matt, I am been excited all day to say that. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm a man, we love to hear you say that, Kevin. That was a hard-nosed play by the running back of the GTA Grizzlies. And a smart play. Little by little, moving it down the field. It doesn't have to be all at once. That's a great grind play, just right up the middle. Did not go down easy and forced his way to first down. And let's see if the Grizzlies offense can find another one here. Boy, lining up, scanning the field. Let's go. Oh, no. no. It looks like Ottawa Sooners did get on top of that. That is a turnover for the Grizzlies offense. No. Just fumbled. It looks like it was a handoff fumbled there. Just as. Uh, honestly, it could have been on the fumble. They're... Uh, my man moving before you get the ball. You gotta secure it and then start moving and that cost him and now just like that, the uh, the momentum has shifted right back to the Ottawa Sooners. Well, we've seen that from both teams. Today. This ball just keeps uh, getting loose no matter what team it is. It's uh, maybe it's just a slippery ball today, but it has been, we've seen them get fumbled on the last drive. Ottawa fumbled it right on the, they're almost pretty much walking in for a touchdown. Now we see a fumbled, botched handoff and we've seen some kick return fumbled. It's. It's just not an easy day for anyone out here. And you know what, Kevin? You're 100% correct on that. And now we're, the Sooners are going to look to take advantage of this primetime field position. It doesn't get much better than this. Takes a snap, hands it off, runs right, looks for some space, and he stumbles, and GTA Grizzlies make the stop second down. GTA Grizzlies barely getting a sip of water <laughs> before they're back on the field here, but that was a great stop. Second and goal, big chance to get the stop and see, keep this at a reasonable score here. And it's only a one score game right now. Ottawa wants the touchdown. GTA trying to force him to a field goal. Maybe even a turnover potentially, as we've seen. That's not out of the realm of possibilities on either end. We've seen the GTA Grizzlies do it. We know we, we know they can, but um, we're asking a lot out of them. So let's see if they can do it. I think right now you just want the stop. It's one down at a time. Just get the stop here. That's right, Kevin. One play at a time. Next man up with the GTA Grizzlies. The snap, hands it off. Runs it to the left. Looks for the space. Keeps going. Tries to find the edge. But the GTA Grizzlies, oh, he runs Ooh. it back. And he tries to find another hole. Ooh. He looks like a guy playing mad and finding every which way. Ooh. And he's still juking him. Running to the right. And he's just taken out of bounds on his end. And the flag is down. 
And let's see who that is against. That might be against the Grizzlies potentially there. Well, my man number 25 was doing everything but gaining yards there, Kevin. But you got to appreciate the effort, though. Oh, 100%. You gotta appreciate the effort. 100%. And it was a good effort by the GJ Grizzlies defense to keep him back there, hopefully not to be thrown away with another penalty. Let's see what the call is, but I think that might have been a late hit is my guess, but I've been wrong before, as we've seen today. Okay. <laughs> We all make mistakes, Kevin. That's that's why we're in the booth, buddy. Un unnecessary roughness, face mask against the Grizzlies. They had a stop. They almost forced them to do the field, kick a field goal. Now they just gave him a fresh set of downs in the red zone. On the one yard line, that is. That's the lack of discipline that we were talking about. That's right, Kevin. They want the ball, and but you know what? This defense might just be tired, and that's why they're making these mistakes. And Sears. On the goal line. Looks like they may run it right up the middle. They hand it off and, mm. and it is enough for a touchdown. Touchdown for Ottawa Sooners. Dude, let me see your number. One. Second touchdown number of the one. day. Wait, Second wait. running touchdown of the day for the Sooners. They've been running the ball directly at this team. I'll tell you what, because the pocket has been collapsing on this quarterback and uh, the running the running game has uh, been keeping the Ottawa Sooners afloat. That will bring the score to 13. For the Ottawa Sooners to zero for your GTA Grizzlies with the attempt of a kick for an extra point here. Sooners taking advantage of the Grizzlies' mistakes on offense and with the flag. That's tough because that would have been a potential field goal attempt. Yep. Turn to touchdown. That's those mistakes that come to bite you right there. That's how it goes sometimes, buddy. And let's see how this kick goes. And flags down. Looks like GT might have been a bit excited there. No one's touching you. Why are you having a fit here? <laughs> no, I know it's a clock, but why is it doing it? Like it says start, and it, there's, it's not. Oh, see, it started all by itself. Looks like the GT <laughs> was a bit excited there, the, and then might have back in. Jumped a bit early. Scoreboard beeping out here, Kevin. We got uh, scoreboard issues as well, but uh, we're making it. We're making it work out here in Brampton. Kick, running up for the kick, retake this. You saw it, and it started all by itself. <laughs> <laughs> and the kick is off, and it is good. 14 for Ottawa, zero for the GTA Grizzlies. But that being said, this is still a game. This game is not over, man. No doubt about it. If they can, if the Grizzlies can come out focused up a little bit, and like I've been saying, like we've been saying, make the smart, shorter plays. But even when <laughs> they've been trying to do that, drop the ball is not a good good option. You've got to secure the football this time around. And the GTA Grizzlies offense will come back to the field. This is the second quarter of a game that has been full of action, that's for sure. Well, from drones to drop balls and uh, our fair share of flags, it's been a you know entertaining game, that's for sure. Hopefully, there's people on the stream are having a good time. We're having a good time. That's a, that's uh, what matters in our game. Man, I love this. And we hope the players are having fun. That looks like a ch the, the game. The both both sides are into this game. GTA is putting up a good fight. Ottawa's trying hey, to take control. Now I got it. Oh. And the scoreboard has been figured out. What a day. We got it going here in Brampton. Let's go, Grizz. Let's make it happen here on the special teams. Maybe a big kick return here would uh, be what this Grizzlies offense needs. That would help out a lot. Needs, I mean. And the, the kick is, is off. I can't do anything. And it is out of bounds. The ball will be placed at the 40 for the GJ Grizzlies offense. That's pretty good field position for them, too. And uh, there's still time in this half to make sure that, uh, you know, get within uh, get within uh, striking distance with one, all it takes is one touchdown. And it will be placed no, at the 35 yard people. line, I stand corrected, for the GTA Goods is offense. Just, it's just it's, it's oh, nope, the 40. Stand corrected, uh, uh, no, 35. Yep. 35. I was right the first time. <laughs> there are a lot of numbers out there, Kevin. It's hard to figure out which one. <laughs> well, you weren't sure. You saw the flags. You weren't sure if there was one or two there. And sometimes it gets pushed back five more yards one way or the other sometimes, you know? <laughs> or 15 yards in this case. Uh, or not in this case, but during this game, there's been a couple of those. So we're just trying to keep up. And Boyd lining up. 
Looking to, looking to get things going here for the offense. They pitch it to the running back. He runs it left, and he's taken down for about a gain of about a yard there. That was a great decision by the Grizzlies. And you know what else that does, Kevin? It gives the running back a little bit more confidence after that earlier drop. Richard, Richard, trying his run. And that will be second and nine for the Grizzlies offense here. What do you do here, second and nine, Matt? You got to throw it. They have some, seen some success also in the run game, though, so we might see them do some run trickery as well. And the Grizzlies offense lines up. Quarterback Boyd scanning the field. Takes a snap, steps back, looks right, throws it. Completed catch, and let's see if that's enough. That's right around, but might be just short. It's right in the area of that first down. That looks close right there, Kevin. And even still, I would go for it regardless. But, oh, and we got an injury here. Uh, you never want to see that for any team out there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything isn't too serious and hopefully ends up okay. Um, you never like to see that, but shout out to the training staff, shout out to the trainers out there, going out there and doing their, doing their thing, but you never want to see players down, so I hope for the best on that end. Did not get to see the number uh, of who's gone down there, but that was a great catch by the receiver. Number eight. Uh, what, Jerome number eight? Adams. Jerome Adams down in the field. But great catch by Jerome Adams there. And what you, you're saying, third and short, you think they should go for it? Stop. Yeah, there's no doubt. Oh. Yeah, they uh, definitely should go for it. It, it, especially with the way how this game's been going, the way how this season's been going. I can't stop it! He's got a mind of his own. I'm timing it this way. Sponsors. And that is an injury timeout on the field. So a great time, Matt, to check out, go back to our sponsors. We, we, we mentioned earlier that we were going to get to them again, and Matt, what a time to do so. Well, we want to give a big time shout out to Trillium Recycling, <laughs> buying and selling new and used pallets. Don't forget, wrench it up plumbing. Give them a call at 416-800-5050. Engage 416. And of course, Zenith Athletic Performance. And big shout out to all the sponsors out there. You can't thank them enough. And the player is up and walking with some help off the field. Let's hope all is well. And you never want to see that. I know you love me, Henry. You got the clock yeah, up and down. I'm at half time. You got a lot going on today, Kevin. Yeah, the, the clock is off here at the stadium, so there is some technical issues on that end. And the refs are looking to sort that out. 9.31 at the time of the injury. 9.31 is where we're at in the second quarter, for those listening. I'll come down at halftime. that. The key is right now is not to lose focus for the GTA Grizzlies, Kevin. I'm at halftime because I have to walk all the way around. Right. Okay. Because they got it all locked up. Yeah. And there's a lot going on today. <laughs> the refs are working sorry, today. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to yell. No, My guys are asking me. It's all good. We're sharing the booth here with the wonderful timekeepers. Having a real headache with this scoreboard today. It's giving her some trouble. And... Uh, if you hear a lovely lady in the background, don't mind her. That's just our lovely timekeeper today. Having a, having a, not having the best day at work, I'd say. Helping us out with the rules too, Kevin. She, uh, she knows the calls before we do, and uh, we're grateful to have her. She's very sweet. Thank you. And, and, I, and, and I know it's not ideal for, I guess, anyone, uh, anyone from the team's end of the players when the score, when you no. can't see the time, and uh, it makes know. things complicated, but. Like you said, it, you have to just grind through and find a way, right, Matt? That's right. Keep the focus, keep to the game plan, and sort it out. Oh. And Ottawa, I think the Ottawa coach here is just discussing with the referees what's going on and how they're going to play this out. Um, looks like it may be an issue that has to be settled at halftime due to the setup of the I have facility. To phone because mine is at 55%. We got you. I brought the power bank too if you need one. Well, I don't have
not easy for the teams, but the refs will be managing the time on their watch. Almost soccer, the other football style of keeping time, where the refs are keeping the time. Well, the refs definitely do have watches down there. They know what they uh, they got to do. They are the true controllers of the game and the time. And you just got to communicate that with the coaches where you're at regularly, I think, after every play. Make it to halftime and, and third down they are. Grizzlies offense is going for it here. Let's see what they go for. Third and short. And they called a timeout. Boyd does not like what he was seeing. And that fires up the Ottawa bench. And it looks like, are they going to bring out the punting team? Call the timeout. Boyd. Grizzlies called that timeout. Didn't like the look they were getting. And it looks like they will be sw switching units here and kicking the ball off potentially. Or maybe they're re just rediscussing with coach. That's true. I don't know what's going on there, Kevin. I, I really would like to see them go for it, that's for sure. Um, I mean, why not at this point in the game? Nothing wrong with taking, a, taking an opportunity. And it looks like they actually will be kicking it off. They reconsidered, didn't like what they see. Maybe they're just trying to draw them offside for a penalty, I think, potentially, was the case there. And they did not fall for it. That was a uh, good, good uh, discipline play by the Sooners then. Now what? Whistles everywhere. Whistles on sale today. He's moving the ball. And the ball is moving, potentially. Maybe it got pushed up a bit too much. They were not happy with the placement of the ball, and they wanted to correct that. Well, it is a game of interest, Kevin. Quite literally. <laughs> now uh, they will be kicking it off to the Ottawa Sooners. And let's see if they can get a good kickoff and get some good field position here. Yep, the defense coming out again. And, oh, and it's a fake kick run. And he runs it to the left, and he finds the space. Is that enough? And it looks like it might not be enough. Just short. I like the trick here. I like the idea. I like the energy behind it. But unfortunately, when you take risks, sometimes they don't always go your way. You know what? That was a fun play call, though, in the special teams unit. Maybe the coaches believed in that opportunity, that that particular play. Um, it was exciting, though. That's for sure. I, I like I like the call. I like the idea that they're thinking different, and they're not. They don't want to just go go down without a fight. They're trying to catch them off guard. Ottawa, that is. And um, but the but Ottawa was right there, and they they luckily got that stop. But it wasn't it wasn't not close. It was a couple a couple yards away. Could have been different, um, but unfortunately, that like you said, a game of inches. That's right. A bit too short. Running all the way to the outside there, and. Uh, that's what we got. So pretty good field position too. Uh, the defense, they can definitely stop this. And the Ottawa offense gets whistles and a flag before they get a playoff. More. We'll see who this goes against. Looks like they're moving it back there, Kevin. It might be actually against the offense. Uh, potentially, it looks like by the looks of it. 8.32, Brian. And that's against a five yard penalty against the offense there. Okay. That will be first and 15 for the Ottawa Sooners. GT Grizzlies looking to capitalize and make a stop here. And the snap is off. He hands it off, runs it to the right, finds some space, keeps going, but the GT Grizzlies force him out of bounds for about a gain of maybe a yard or two there. Not yeah. enough. Another flag there, Kevin. Not sure what that was for, but that's number 25. He's been uh, having himself a game. And once again, <laughs> picking up yards. Sorry. And flags are down, so let's see who the call goes against. And that looks like it's against the Grizzlies, and it will be a first down for Ottawa. I'm sorry if my yelling is no, no, sorry. It's fine. Do you think? Dave, do me a favor. It looks like an unnecessary roughness penalty against the GTA Grizzlies, and um, the key word is unnecessary there. I like a lot of the penalties that the Grizzlies have taken have been too aggressive, and it's really been costing them this game because now it seems like this Ottawa offense is finding its groove. Ottawa lines up, first and ten. Takes the snap, throws it left, completed, and taken down for about a gain of three yards. Second and about seven for the Ottawa Sooners offense. Ball on about the 27 yard line here. Yeah. That was a great decision made by the QB. Moving the ball up a little bit at a time and uh, they're eating up some field. They're in scoring position here, Kevin. And this Grizzlies defense with a chance to make a stop and potentially force a field goal attempt. And that's what, let's see what they can do. It's about. About a six to seven yards they lead. Ottawa looks right, throws it, completed, and he's 
stopped. Oh, he's still fighting for it, but not enough. And that's going to be third down. The Grizzlies defense stops him. That's an excellent stop by the defense there, Kevin. Great throw by the offense of Ottawa. But they've been so aggressive and not giving this quarterback a lot of time to make these decisions. And it's, uh, it's worked out well for him this time. And do you think the offense is going to go for it here, or are they bringing the kicking unit out? You definitely got to bring the kicking unit out here, I would say. And we, we, I think the quarterback's still out there. I think they actually might be going for this here. The way that they're lining this up. Well, oh, they're going for it. This doesn't look, look like this. a kick to me. No. It's like the offense looking for It's only my second game, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> and he steps back. Throws it left. Intercepted. Oh! oh. Almost intercepted. Oh. Great attempt. They will still take over of a ball. Turnover on downs. Oh. Three points. That's actually ideal. You didn't even got that interception. That's not much more yards. Bam. It would be right up in the same spot. They didn't give up any points. That's a great defensive effort either way by your GGA Grizzlies. It felt like that ball was bouncing on his fingers for quite a while there, didn't it? If he got that while he was on his feet, then you have a potential for a run back. That, that would have been different. That's true. But the defense is hot, man. And either way, GTA Grizzlies get the ball back. But, wow, what an attempt there. And great job on this GTA Grizzlies defense, keeping this a two-score game, giving this offense a chance to get them back in this game. And right now, they just need a bit of, a bit of help. From the offense, that's right, Kevin. If the offense can move the ball, at least get it out of this position here. Because last time they were there, there was a, a fumble. So let's uh, let's just move the ball. So quarterback Boyd lining up, looking for something here. Takes the snap, hands it off, runs up the middle, flag is out, and let's see where it goes against. And that is more flags. Flags on flags on flags. <laughs> And it looks like that O line for the Grizzlies has got to tighten things up. And that was. Offside, and it will be a five yard penalty. Repeat first down, so that will make it first and about 15 for the GTA Grizzlies offense. Big time shout out to our sponsors Trillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. Of course, we got Wrench It Up Plumbing. 416-800-5050. Engage 416 and Zenith Athletic Performance. Shout out the sponsors. Thank you. We appreciate you. And please go check out our sponsors. Boyd takes the snap. First down, first and 15. Rolling right, looking, makes the throw, and caught! And just! Ooh, ooh, ooh. takes a big hit, but he gets right back up. He's a big boy. He's not, he's not going down without a fight. Makes the completion in traffic. Takes the hit, gets right back up for setting up a second and about nine. That's that, a great play there. That was a bold throw by the quarterback. Went through the hands of two defenders and uh, was able to make it to his man. Next, next sponsor. Yeah. That leaves about second and nine here with about five minutes to go in the half. GT Grizzlies offense finding a bit of a rhythm. Looking for a first down here. And looks like they looks like they are starting to get a bit more aggressive with the throwing game. And I wouldn't be surprised if they go back to it here. We'll see though. They've been playing some trickery here too, and a flag is down. 445. And that looks like it will move the ball back for the GTA Grizzlies for about five more yards. Gonna make it about a second and fourteen, a second and long here, Matt. One step forward, two steps back for the Grizzlies. That's been the name of the game today, and mistakes like that are, uh, you know, have been the story. But they have a chance to redeem themselves here. You know, you can get a first down on the first, or you get a first down off the second and long. You can build off that. And he takes a snap, hands it off, runs it, and oh, quarterback still has the ball. And he pitches it off, and he's running left, and he's still going, and that might be enough for that. Maybe just short. But either way, he lines up a potentially. 
short third down where they might might want to go for this. Let's see where the ball's placed, but it looks like it's going to be about a couple yards short here, you'd say? That's what it looks like. That was a great run. Probably the biggest uh, run of the game, per he perhaps, play. Us. Yeah. He tricked us. I was looking one way, and the ball was going the other way. That's how you know it was a good play. Yes. And it tricked the, off or the defense of the Ottawa Sooners there, and it's close enough where I would attempt to go for it again. They're about third and about two shy, maybe three, two and a half. Minute mark. At the four minute mark here, I don't see why not. And uh, And let's see who they they are lining up a kick and they will be punting it away to the Ottawa Sooners. They don't want to risk it here in their own territory. They're playing it conservative. Not a bad call. No, great call, especially in this side on this uh, side of the field here, Kevin. You're right. You're one hundred percent correct. This is a two score game. You don't you you're, you have this game in reach. Uh, you want to keep it in reach, I think is the move here. That's right. And the kick is off. Very close. Easy kick. And they will be Letting it go, letting it go. GT Grizzlies get on top oh. of it. Flags on the field. And let's see where the flag goes against. 332. But the ball will be around midfield before the flag gets announced. Shout out to Voller Digital Media. That's us, Kevin. Uh, if it can be imagined, it can be created. Shout out to them. They pay the bills, so. That's right. That's my bill. I got to pay my phone bill this month. I am behind. <laughs> and we're just going to see where the ball is placed here. The refs are discussing. There is flags. And we're just waiting to see. And it looks like it's just going to be pushed up five more yards for Ottawa. Mid sitting at a pretty much about midfield here with the Ottawa Sooners taking control at about 3.32 left on the clock. This defense has definitely got to be careful right now, Kevin, because Ottawa is starting to click offensively, and um, you don't want them to start gaining too much momentum going into the half. This GT Grizzlies defense has to find their groove as well. They're pushing back, and he takes a snap, throws it right, and it's right into the ground. Too low. Damn, that's Not good. really a I'll playable ball there. Then to, uh... Pressure has not been the problem with putting it on this quarterback here, Kevin. That is for sure. And the Grizzlies make a great play, keeping the ball where it's at. They're talking from the field. That's going to be a second and ten for the oh, so Ottawa Sooners offense. So you were, you were right. You heard the three whistles. I didn't hear yeah. them. So. Whistle, whistle, whistle. is going to try to navigate that, not seeing the clock. And he takes a snap, he rolls it, out of the pocket, rolls left, makes the throw, completed, and he finds a hole, and he's still going to the, about the 26 yard line, out of bounds, that's gonna be first down for the Ottawa Sooners. This Ottawa quarterback has been facing a lot of pressure, but he has not broken under that pressure from this defensive line that's been blitzing this man. But he's been throwing and connecting with his receivers, and his receivers have definitely uh, been m making it up with the runs. That's the second effort play right there. I don't think it was drawn up like that, but sometimes you scramble, second effort plays, and that's what makes the difference sometimes from a good offense. He knows how to stay on his feet and really, really helping out his team there with a throw like that. That was a great play. First and ten here for Ottawa. Near the end of the first half here. Takes the snap, hands it off, and it's stuffed immediately. GJ Grizzlies say no loss of yards. Going to be second and long. The Grizz have no problem getting back there. And uh, that's really great to see. It's hard to tackle this quarterback. He has been slippery. But the fact is, they're putting a lot of pressure on this team. And that will make it second and long here. GT Grizzlies looking to go into the half, keeping this a two-score game and making a big stop here. And they have a good chance here to stop this on second down. Ottawa has been aggressive. I wouldn't be surprised if they take a shot here. And he takes a snap. And he's looking for it. And he decides to run out of the pocket, rolls right, and he's using his legs, he's running it, and he fakes, jukes, oh, we had him on the juke, finds the edge, and he's taken out of bounds. Enough for a first down. 
Hey, that, 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 that one's going to the highlight. That one, yeah, he's definitely going to send that out to the recruiters right there. That was a great play by this QB. He's, he knows what he wants out there, and he's getting it. Call it the Sooner Shimmy. Yeah. <laughs> we got we to trademark that. <laughs> and the ball will be placed at, uh, looks like, I want to say about the 13. First and ten at about the 13-yard line here for the Ottawa Senior's offense. And let's see if they can continue that mojo here and convert. Sweet play. Let's see if they can capitalize on that there, Kevin. And he takes a snap, looks left, throws it immediately, and it is completed and taken down at the goal line. First down and about one. This man is just making the right decisions out here. He's putting on an offensive clinic and this taking advantage of this very fatigued GTA Grizzlies team. When you've been blitzing all this time, now you don't know what to do. And, the two, and I think it might be two seconds left on the clock as the ref just announced, which is going to change the play call drastically, I think. They are taking the offense off and I think bringing the special teams out. Because once you learned it was two seconds, you might not want to run that. You might want to just take those easy points there, Matt. There's nothing easy in this league, as we already know. So any points are good points, and they've got the. So they called a timeout. Uh, they realized where the clock, where they were on the clock. Like we said, in the stadium, clock is out right now. Um, the refs are just trying to communicate with the coaches where the time is at, and navigating the end of the the end of the quarter here is not easy. And they gave them the heads up there at about two seconds, I think. That's what I heard at least. And so they called the timeout so they can make a decision here. It was probably the last play of the the half. Once again, uh, this stream is brought to you by Vol Air Digital Media. If it can be imagined, it can be created. Also, shout out to Trillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets can't forget it wrench it up plumbing 416-800-5050 engage 416 and of course zenith athletic performance and uh timeout is over and let's see what they're going to be doing here i think we might be seeing the offense stay on the field the way they've been grooving it doesn't surprise me though no doubt about it kevin they've been getting yards by any means the run the throw and even runs by the quarterback yeah the offense is lining up I'm, I'm, first down and let's see he goes hands it off runs up the middle and punches it and looks like that's a touchdown ottawa that's a big score there third running touchdown of the game for the ottawa sooners and that is now a three score game and this is exactly where the grizzlies did not want to be uh going into this half but we'll see if they can turn things around and maybe even score before the half is up uh, i don't think the time was you don't um, know the time exactly we, we don't have the time up here it is it is hard i'm telling you i, I feel for the coaches having the players not knowing what's on the clock not knowing the time and uh, it makes things a very interesting to see how the refs are communicating. They're making it work. They started this roughing crew. They're making this work. And I'll tell you what, you probably, if you're the Grizz, you don't want to really look up at the scoreboard now anyways. Now's the time to just focus up and play. And this is a 20 nothing right now and chance to make it 21 here. And the kick is off. And the kick is good. And the score is 21 for the Ottawa Sooners. Zero for your GTA Grizzlies. <laughs> And looks like there is still time on the clock, so they are setting up for a kickoff here. I'm not sure exactly how much time, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see either way a kneel and just get this to the half and get the scoreboard fixed and regroup the regroup the troops. And I think that that might be the move. And I think that's I, if I'm guessing, we we have to see because I don't think there's much much time left. Well, we heard the three minute warning a while back. And if we have any watch or clock companies looking for sponsorship, uh, we could use you. So <laughs> swing by and give us a call <laughs> and Ottawa is kicking it off to the GTA Grizzlies and the, imagine I, I think there is a potential for a kick return here that would be a great way to swing this momentum going in the half and we've seen it yeah and give some confidence to uh, this GTA Grizzlies team as a whole and let's see the kick is off and it is returnable he makes the catch and he's running and he goes up look in the middle cuts left 
has some room and he's taken oh he's still up and he tries to find the loses space nowhere to go but a decent return the, i think that's the best return we've seen of the night on the gta grizzly special team they held on to the ball there and i know that sounds very basic but that's something that they've been needing to do on special teams hold on to the ball and get it moving and that's not down the field special teams we've seen uh, ottawa but uh mishandled two uh catches from a kick 100 percent. it goes both ways um but Build up the positives. That was a great return, and the offense is coming back on the field. And let's see if they're going to try to, in a short clock here, try to run the field with no scoreboard, or if they end up. They do get the ball back after half, the GTA Grizzlies offense, so they may decide to just go into the half, regroup, or they may decide to, to run something here. What do you what, what do you think the move is here, Matt? Yeah, I'd say try it. Uh, there's no there's no sense in uh, in not trying something, I feel like, at this point in the it game. It depends on the clock. If you're at, like, uh, one play you can get off, you might not want to risk a... Uh, like a pick six per se, I think. Correct. And you're getting the ball back anyways. That, but like, if you have a minute, then that might change the game plan. But, but like for us, we don't know. We, we don't know the time. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. For us. We, are, we are here for you. This is a lot of fun right here, but it's really hard without knowing how much time is left. What I would do. <laughs> But okay. they will sort that out in half. For sure. They will sort that out. It's just not something that they can do while playing. It's kind of complicated. And the handoff, they run it up the middle, find some room. That's a great run by the running back there. And it goes about nine yards there, almost for a first down. That was a beautiful run there. Yeah. And Somebody calling is that, time. Is that time? Like we said, everybody's guessing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I think, and I feel for the players right now. They are probably kind of confused. Yeah, the confusion is definitely good. It's going to mess with your psyche there. If you don't know the time, you don't know the score, refs are waving flags. Oh, oh and it's definitely halftime. It. it must be halftime. That is, uh, that's halftime here, folks. And the final score at half is zero points for your GTA Grizzlies and 21 points for the visiting Ottawa Sooners. And we'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes. Thank you for watching our stream, and thank you for watching the Canadian Junior Football League. But first, a uh, quick word from the smart for the sponsors. We know we love that Trillium recycling, buying, and selling new and used pallets. Shout out to Wrench It Up Plumbing. Call them up at 416-800-5050. Engage 416 and Zenith Athletic Performance. And do not forget the lovable Volair digital media if it can be imagined it can be created we'll be right back
And we're back for the second half here at Terry Fox Track and Field Stadium in Brampton, Ontario. The GTA Grizzlies will be receiving this kick in the second half. Down 21 points here, Matt. What do the GTA Grizzlies need to hear need to do here to turn this tide right back around in their favor? They gotta score by any means. Uh, whether they're special teams or on the defense, if they can get on the board, they'll get some confidence. And they are kicking it off, and this offense will be coming back out here. GTA Grizzlies offense, the kick is off. And the Grizzlies looking to receive. Let's it bounce once, takes it, runs it to the left, and he's looking for some space, finds one hole, and he tries to, ooh, taken down about the 31-yard line. Decent return. Going to be starting here about the 31-yard line, which isn't too bad of a field position to start for this offense. And just for the people tuning in, they do have some technical difficulties in the stadium. The scoreboard is out. Uh, the time, we cannot see the time. Uh, the refs are keeping track of the time, and they're communicating that with the players. But please bear with us. Know what it is in the stadium. Uh, there is uh, The scoreboard is out, and it makes things a bit more complicated. Just knowing um, where you're at in terms of uh, gameplay, especially for strategy in terms of for coaches. And, and shout out to the referee staff making it work. You're just trying to make sure that their watches are in sync with the timekeepers. And uh, that's the main thing right now. And they take the snap, and he hands it off, runs it to the left, and he gains about two to three yards there. Not a bad way to start. It's going to be second and about eight. That is... <laughs> That is not a bad way to start, I think, though. But quarterback Boyd has had a few completions on the day, but nothing crazy. And right now, I think they're just trying to find a groove, get this, get some positive yards. And actually, I was wrong. That was not a couple-yard gain. That looks like they might have even got a couple inches there based on where the placement was. It looked like he got a couple yards, but I was I stand corrected. Yeah, he barely – he did get to the line of scrimmage, but not much further than that. Uh, the offense – or the Ottawa defense was right on top of him there. Boyd lining up, second and ten. Takes the snap, looks right, throws it, and looks like it's incomplete. Just a bit low. I think it went into the ground there. Were you able to get a roster? And Ottawa is bringing back out the receiving unit, looking to get some decent field position. GTA Grizzlies looking to get a decent kickoff here. Hopefully, set up the defense defense with a manageable, a manageable field position. But Ottawa Sooners receiving team looking to set their offense up for a third or fourth potential touchdown. And they line up. They're discussing something. Uh, looks like they're ready to go. Takes the snap. And the kick is off. Looks decent. Got some good hang time. Makes the catch. Tries to return it. Runs left. Has some space. Looking up the middle. And he continues to go left. And he's taken down midfield by the Grizzlies special teams. And that will bring out the Ottawa offense. So far, their three touchdowns today have been running touchdowns, but that you would be you would think that they haven't been throwing the ball, but they have actually been throwing the ball aggressively, nonstop. They've been getting great field position, but then once they get into that red zone, they just punch it in with the run game. So they, we're seeing the, a perfect balanced offensive game right now from this Ottawa Sooners team. Owen Cowan has been doing it all with his legs. And they will be kicking that off actually again, re-kick. So that's about third and five, and they will be re-kicking that off back out. Which is good for decent for GTA. They can maybe force some worse field position this time. But they moved up another five yards. And the kick is off, almost blocked, and another good kick. Deep, deep. And he makes the catch, looks for the return, goes left again, but this time the Grizzly special team says no, gets about five extra yards on a good second effort, but taken down. And they saved literally about a five to seven yards on that penalty there, a field position, which, like you said, Game Adventures might make a difference on this drive. That is number 13, Enrique, 
and he is, uh, you know, that was a great run by him too. The special teams of uh, the Ottawa Sooners, no matter who's running back, they're, uh, they're running very aggressively. But like you said, uh, the penalty cost him what would have been even more yards. And quarterback Owen Cowan coming back to the field to take control of this offense. He's been aggressive today, started off the game rough with an interception, and then he's just slowly just got into his groove, found it, and now it seems like he's having his way out there. That's right, Owen Cowan having a great game. Um, let's see if we can keep it going. Do you think, uh, what do you, honestly, what do you think, Kevin? Do you think I think they're going to run the ball here, mix it up. I think they're going to try to get some people involved here, up three scores. I think that's the move. Try to get some people involved. A couple fake handoff rolls it right, and a QB run design. And he, ooh, he actually takes a negative. Ooh, ooh, ooh late. Fight. Unnecessary. Way too aggressive. Unnecessary roughness for sure. Looks like a little WWE action out there, right? On that, Kevin. Not a good, not no discipline right there. That's not, that's not what and the we, DK Grizzlies need. Right like now. we've said before, early in this game, we've seen a many undisciplined penalties. Whether they be late hits, um, unnecessary roughness, those are the things that mentally you can correct. 100% in, 100% unavoidable problems caused by the Grizzlies there, and that was that was rough. And but the thing is too, the. Defense has been getting to this quarterback. It's not to say that they haven't been able to hit him, uh, but when they do hit him or they're hitting uh, the running backs, they're just hitting them late. And the thing is, that right there is an opportunity to get your defense off the field, get the offense back out there, another chance. And now you've just given this offense, who's had some success today, just a fresh set of down, better field position, and you might have just had a stop there. And that just undisciplined, it's just going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you no matter what team you're playing for. That's right. Boy, light. <laughs> Cowan lining up, hands it off, runs it to the left, and he's looking for field, and he's taken down for a loss of yards by the GTA Grizzlies defense. Second down. I'm sure if you guys hear the cops in the back, they might be coming for this Grizzlies defense, the way how they've been taking it and being so rough with this Ottawa Sooners offense. We hope not. We hope not. And they will be second and long here, about second and 14 yards. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Ottawa go for a pass here, but they might play a conservative up three scores here and do a handoff. Cowan's been having his way. He may run, he may throw. That's uh, the ability of this quarterback, and we'll see what the Ottawa decides to do. They feel like they can do whatever they want. Cowan takes a snap, steps back, looks right, takes a side to rush out of the pocket, and he runs it right, and he has yards in front of him, and he runs it to the edge, he still has room, and he goes to the 20, to the 15, and out of bounds out of the 15-yard line. Like you said, he might run, he might pass, took the run option, there was no pass there, and found plenty of yards. That was an incredible play. He, he, he had field there, he took it, and that just goes to show the versatility and not afraid to make the run. We've seen the seen him do some play action plays. We've seen him use his legs to scramble and extend plays a lot. And um, now with them pushing in the red zone here, we've seen three running touchdowns. I wouldn't be surprised right now if we see some more designed run plays from this Ottawa Sooners offense. Let's see what Cowan goes with here. And he lines up, takes the snap, hands it off, and he runs it, and the GTA Grizzlies defense says no thank you for about a one-yard gain not giving them much. That's a big stop. That's a confidence stop right there for the GJ Grizzlies. No flags. And uh, hopefully they can capitalize on this. Uh, and they're calling in a trainer by the looks of it. And maybe a injury timeout here. Trainer's running out. And we hope for the best and hopefully nothing too serious there as we've as we've seen before. But the, I think we've actually seen less injuries in the past, uh, playing at the nighttime compared to those hot day games. Um, but still, you don't want to see any injury on any given day.
They imagined us here today, and look at us here. We're having a good time watching football, Kevin. Despite the score and lack of scoreboard, the problems we've been having. Drone. Don't forget, there was a drone. Mid <laughs> we had a drone delay in the first half as well. That might have been my favorite play with the drone <laughs> play, Kevin. <laughs> That's some stuff you don't see every day, but... It's we. I'm just wondering what next. Are we gonna get a coyote one in the field here? What, what do we get next? At this point, you <laughs> imagine a grizzly bear for the grizzlies. That would be terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> He's not lying. He lost his AirPods. He's pretty upset. We're heartbroken, but I'm I'm forging forward. I got a job to do. And uh, hopefully this isn't too serious. This is an extended injury injury break here. Uh, and uh, hopefully they take the time that he's trying to attempt to get him up the field, get some help, and get him off the field. And um, hope everything is okay. Ottawa giving the clap, showing good sportsmanship. And that's something you do like to see in these games. These games can be aggressive and can be chippy, but uh, the sportsmanship at the end of the day, both teams are playing an aggressive game and don't want to see either side injured. Here we go. Quarterback Cowan in this Ottawa offense taking the field again in the red zone. Second and about nine. Takes the snap. Looks right. Looks left. And he throws it towards the end zone. And that is completed. Touchdown, Ottawa. First touchdown throw of the game for quarterback Cowan. And there is a flag down. Let's see what the call is. And they are going for the extra point. Kick is off and kick is good. That is now 28 points for the visiting Ottawa Sooners and zero points for your GTA Grizzlies. And the Grizzlies offense will take the field. And Cowan, quarterback Cowan, has been throwing it all game. He's had some close attempts for touchdowns. There was penalties called back, a turnover right at the goal line. They've had some success running on the red zone. And it, and it is uh, he must feel nice to get over that home and get his uh, throwing touchdown to to really show that he that the balance of the offense. Because at first it looked like it was just run, run, run in the red zone. But now they're showing that it doesn't matter whether they run or throw that they're going to get the job done. He's looking to be that true. And the Grizzlies looking to receive the ball here. Maybe a special teams touchdown is what they need. And right now at home, so far, the only touchdown we have at home on the season in our third game is a special teams touchdown. It was a kick block return for a touchdown last game. But we're in our third home game, and our home fans have not seen an offensive touchdown. And that that it can be frustrating for some. That yeah, was a great play too, Kevin. I think about it often. And uh, ideally, this offense really has shown signs of brilliance. It'll be nice to see if they can, like I said, been saying, string a couple plays together and try and get on the scoreboard. Yeah, you got to get points. That's the end of the day. It's a, it's a game of points, and uh, it's not an easy league to get points, and that's for sure. Kick is off. Catch is made, and he's returning it. Runs it up the middle. Looking for a hole. Finds one. Good juke. Fongo runs left. Another juke. Oh, and what a play. What an effort, but taken down just shy of the 30. Offense takes the field.
You made the effort. You're trying to make something happen. You're trying to spark the boys. You can't hate him for that. Nope. Especially in a 28-0 game. You're in the third quarter. I think you're looking for anything just to get them going right now. I'm right there with you, Kevin. So, Matt, what's the move here to stay disciplined here? What do, you, what do you do if you're in the coaching staff here? What do you do to try to try to right this ship when you're down the, on a score like this in a game like this? Well, yep, and the re-kicking must have been a penalty on the play. Another re-kick. Uh, let's see if they end up with a better field position here. And the wind blows that ball. And um, I think the refs are being very lenient with uh, substitutions and such, uh, knowing the timing issues and not having the clock. That's right. They are just trying to communicate and and shuttle this refing staff. They are making the best of this situation. It is not an easy game, I'm sure, when 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 you have a game clock out like this. That's space, Kevin, and there's a lot to keep track of. And here we go with another attempt of the kick. The kick is off. Grizzlies want to return it, but now this time it's out of bounds. And let's see where they spot the ball. Last time that was spotted at the 35, but let's see where it gets spotted. And it looks like it will be the 40-yard line. Oh. No, nope, I stand corrected. The ball is actually getting moved up to right at midfield. They will be starting exactly center field. Well, once again, Kevin, they can, I've been saying it all day. If they can string some plays together here, they can definitely get on the scoreboard. And it would be not, it would honestly be really, really nice to see to give this team some confidence. Um, Offense will be taken over at midfield here. Quarterback Boyd looking to get something going. He has had some successful passes. They've seen a bit of, they've seen more momentum than we've seen er in some earlier home games. We have seen some progression. With that being said, when you're down, when you're down a score like this, it, you, it's hard sometimes to stay motivated. I know. It's demoralizing. You said it, Kevin. And the reality of the situation here is they've got to score. They've got to move the ball a little bit at a time. And hopefully you can get on the scoreboard here. Boyd takes the snap, looks right, rolls to the right, looking, looking, throwing, and finds the man for a completion. About a four-yard gain, completed pass, good catch. That was a great play. The O, the uh, O line given. And that will. S they actually have not moved the the refs are discussing something I'm just wondering if there's yep no there is a completed pass no issues there I wasn't wasn't sure if they were discussing something they're discuss oh first they're moving completely so it must have been a penalty there first down and move those chains Grizzlies first down I missed that I really did it was a penalty that's for sure move the chains by any means we'll take it we'll take it by any means, that's what the Grizzlies have to do in order to get on the board. Boyd, look, look in the field, scanning. Receivers in motion. Takes the snap, hands it off. Running back runs up the middle, finds a hole, and he gets a couple yards. Fighting for them every inch of the way. Nothing easy, but he finds a positive gain there. The running back was able to get past the line of scrimmage, get some yards there, and now... Boyd here set the run sets up Boyd for about second and seven second and manageable can they continue this drive going here Boyd takes a snap looks right has time throws it on a bit overthrown unfortunately that was oh flag is down there is a flag down so let's see what the call is maybe it'll be holding number 10 that is holding number 10 on GTA, and that will be, depending, they may decline the penalty, but. We'll see what, what but, they decide to do. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I saw more drone action there. Not distracted, but I will say this, if uh, this is a penalty in favor, hopefully they can No, it's against the Grizzlies. Uh -huh. It was holding a, it's a, 
So it's a 10 yard penalty holding moves him back, but they do get another attempt at second down. So, hey, if you can make the play here, that actually might end up benefiting them, but Could never you. want a 10 yard penalty either way. Correct. That's definitely going to change the play call here, and now you're probably going to have to throw it uh, strictly because you're so far back. So that will be second and about f 15, or second and about actually 17. Yeah, I think you're going to have to throw it here. They might run it, but I think if you want to make something happen here, I think you've got to throw this ball here. Throw it. Boyd lines up, and he hands it off. Oh, a little trickery double handoff, and he finds a hole, and he tries to force it, and he gets a couple yards, but nowhere near where he needed for a first down. Well, if you... And on the positive note, we do potentially have a scoreboard fix, and the fans might have their scoreboard back. Shout out to the facility staff here at Terry Fox Track and Field Stadium, coming in, saving the day, working on fixing this, and shout out the facility staff. And the GTA Grizzlies will be kicking this ball away to the Ottawa Sooners. Ottawa offense will be coming out here. And you wonder, you might start seeing, do you start seeing some of the second stringers in this Ottawa offense here, or do you just keep with Cowan and let him roll? I think you keep with Cowan in, or Cowan in, and let him, let him do his thing, uh, and maybe one more score, and then you might start seeing some secondary guys come in. And the kick is off. And he takes it, runs it up the middle, running left, trying to find a hole. He has the space. Oh, and he jukes back the other way, trying to find something and nothing. Stiff arm, flags down, and yeah, looks like it. Face mask on uh, the offense there. Yeah, it looks like it might be. We'll, we'll see how that affects field positioning, but I still think the ball does remain in Ottawa's favor. Yep. Coffee, thank you. Cowan's going to come back here and keep keep doing what he's doing. So it's first down, but that penalty does move them right back to about the four-yard line, their own four-yard line to start. Not giving the offense much room, maybe a chance for the GTA Grizzlies to potentially put some points on the board as a defense. I, that's right. This is a great position, uh, and this is how they scored last time, actually. Uh, it was a kick. It was a kick block, but... This is pretty much where it was. So there's no doubt that uh, Grizzlies know how to get some points. They might br you might be seeing them bring the heat here. Oh, but we are seeing some whistles. There's a warning. They're talking about something. Maybe the way the ball's placed. They're not liking... Um, they're not liking... Uh, where, the, where the adjustment was by the center. Refs correcting that, not letting that slide. They're not letting anything slide today. They are on their game today, these refs. That's right. They have not swallowed their whistles in this game, Kevin. And kind of looks like flags. That might be on the offense there. Maybe we'll see. The way that uh, 51's dancing there on uh, the GTA Grizzlies, you'd think that would be against Ottawa. So that would move half the distance to the goal. Um, replay, first down. Right now, that, that's... Uh, Great opportunity here if the defense can put up some points here. Yes, Get the ball back, put up some points. And you know what? Cowan lining up in his own end zone. Risky area, hands it off, runs it left, or runs it right, and he's stuffed there, but makes it to about the five, gets a couple yards, just to give his quarterback a bit more room for second down. Great play there by the GTA Grizzlies, no yards. And that will be about second and nine for this Sooners offense. 
We'll see if they go with a more conservative approach or if they try to uh, show some of that arm talent of their quarterback, Cowan. <laughs> Cowan takes the snap, steps back, looks for it. GTA Grizzlies are there. Can they get him? And safety by the looks of it. He did fumble it. I don't think they blew the whistle before the ball was out. They may give him they may give him progression on the field there. And that's a three-minute warning there. I don't know if that was a score there. And I don't think they called. No, I didn't see any signal for safety. I thought so. I got excited on the call. Me too. I honestly. I was hoping for it. I, I thought they had him down. Uh, They're calling third and in like inches, pretty much. They gave him, like, I think, on the progression. He might have just been outside the end zone there, so they gave him that. The ball. We'll call it an incomplete pass there. Either way, they're about. Th they're kicking it from the literally like Defense the inches mark. Pressure on here. They've been doing a great job. Hey, we have seen a kick block before from the special teams. Can we see one again here? This is a great spot to do it. 100%. This is where they shine. Well, it's not a comfortable place to punt the ball, but either way, pending no uh, no crazy crazy disaster happening, the GTA Grizzlies offense should get great field position here. That's right. Knock on wood. Because it is football in the Canadian Junior Football League. Crazy things happen. And the kick is off. Almost blocked. Yeah, made a tip. And he oh, fumbles it and gets on top of it at least. And he's looks like about the 35-yard line. Could have Could have been a disaster there, but he got on top of it and had his eyes on the ball and made sure that nothing bad happened. But made the mistake and covered it up, and that's that's simple. Bounce it back and make sure that second effort. Sometimes if you make the mistake, you gotta make up for it, and that's what he did there. He's like, he didn't get that ball in his hands, but then he got on top of it, made sure the other team didn't get it. Cause that's what it's about. And it's still here. ball at the 35 yard line for the offense. That's not a bad place to be. This is a great place for the offense. And the flag is down. Timeout. Timeout on the offense. And Ottawa might have a flag. We have timeouts. We have flags. There's a lot going on down there, Kevin. And, I, and even the players look confused. Coaches are yelling at players. Players yelling back at coaches. But what a great time to talk about sponsors. You, why don't you yell at the sponsors? <laughs> And let's get back to the action. Score 28 for the Ottawa Sooners, zero for the GTA Grizzlies. GTA Grizzlies offense has the ball, and new quarterback in the game throws it. And who do we got in the game there, Matt? That is our guy, number five, Harris. Harris, Toheed, 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 Toheed. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. No. Figure it out later. I'm sure someone will let us know. Uh, you think that's the right move, though, switching uh, switching quarterbacks here? Yeah, Boyd has not been. And maybe a chance to take over the starting job. Big opportunity here. And flags. More, more flags, Matt. Like somebody was offside there, and looks like if that's a flag going in GTA Grizzlies favor, they gotta be happy about that. And right now we're at about second down, and we're gonna see if it's going 
to be looks like that's against the Grizzlies five yard penalty it's gonna be about second and 15 here for now quarterback Harris Toheed that's a rough call for there which they had such good position to start out and now to have the ball move back is not So he looking for a chance to take over this starting job and he has plenty of time to make something happen. Maybe take this role, take it by take this offense by the horns, and he takes a snap and there's flags, whistles, flags, whistles, more flags and more whistles, and there's also a drone in the sky. Second and 20 is not a deal, but it's doable. Um, it, it done been done before. It's not like an unachievable first time, but it's also no coaches happy with second and 20. No, and you know what? This offense is definitely. So he is looking, looking to get things going here. He takes the snap. He looks left. Looks right. Throws it left. Completed. And what a catch for about a 10 yard gain. That is a great play to get it to about. <laughs> back to where they started, but after those two penalties, a 10-yard throw is one of the better throws I think we've had today. Another injury timeout here. I think it would be a great time to mention those wonderful sponsors of that again, Matt. Why don't you, why don't, what do you think? <laughs> Right now, GTA Grizzlies are imagining a massive comeback here, and maybe they have time to to draw something up here. But right now, the offense looks like they're just taking a knee, regrouping. But it is a third, third and ten. I think we're not. I, I don't think we're going to see the offense stay out there per se. Uh, I don't think. I think it might be just out of also field goal territory. What do you think? Uh, I, it does look a tad out of the uh, field goal position in here, and with this quarterback not even really being able to snap the ball correctly. Uh, there's a good chance that we see the field goal unit coming on in and sort that out. Yeah, he's not going above the plane surface. As we learned today from Football Canada rules, if you have a drone, as Ottawa traveled with the drone guy, do not put the drone or play, play the drone over the play. Um, maybe safety issues. Either way, it's a rule. It will delay the game. Learn the hard way. And this will be going for. Yep. Trying to put some points on the board, which would be the first points of the day, which you can't complain about putting points on the board. Well, they Ottawa also sending the returner back for a potential return here. As we know in Canadian football, that would be points. And ooh, he does get a piece of it. It looks like it will be returnable. He yeah. takes it. And he runs it up the middle and he's taken down there. Right about the 14 yard line. And yeah, that tip just prevented possible points. Now will be Ottawa will be taking over possession about two minutes left here in the third quarter. Ottawa up 28 points. Offense coming back on the field. GTA Grizzlies looking to make something happen here, but it is a it is an uphill battle to say the least. And that's maybe why we're seeing quarterbacks count stay in the game here. They are they are going with their starters here, and the quarterback he takes it, looks right, throws it right, and great defensive effort. Got a hand on the ball. And that was Joseph Korkupomi. 
with the, with the hand on the ball there. Great play by the secondary there for the GTA Grizzlies. And we are just waiting to get going here. Ottawa offense taking here, second down and 10. Looking to stay on the field with a first down play here. I wouldn't be surprised to see Cowan throw this here. And he takes the snap, steps back, rolls to the right, and dukes one guy. Oh, and he throws the ball up in the air. And is that caught? Was that an underhand granny throw catch completion? Yo, I thought that was a fumble, but he just like rugby throw that for a completion. We said we've seen everything today, and clearly not. Not, turning not enough for a first down, but still impressive nonetheless. Wow. They will be kicking the ball away. 103 left here in the third. Um, GT Grizzlies, great defensive stop there. Um, some bizarre rugby throw. Still not enough for a first down. Here. Kicking it off to GT Grizzlies, and they will have a great field position to start this offense. And hopefully, quarterback Toheed can come out here and find a bit more of And that's almost blocked. He got his hand on that. Goes out at about the 30. Let's see where the ref calls it. And it looks like they're calling it out at the 28 yard, oh, 20, oh, 27 yard line. That was a favorable draw, I think. Great field position though, great field position. And this is, for the offense here, this is uh, not better field position to start. I don't think you can ask for it, not much at least. You're just on the, you're just on the brink of the red zone here. Um, a great chance to just, you really want to turn the season around. You really want to just get some momentum going here. You want it for the offense. That is. You really just want to find a group. Give that give the home crowd their first offensive home touchdown of the season here. But they are trying stuff. That we've seen some trick. We've seen some new plays. Quarterback Toheed is out here. Or penalties, that is. And he takes a snap, drops back, runs, rolls to the right, and he's looking for something. It looks like he's going to use his legs. He's running it, finds a hole, and great run there by Togi. Just short of the first down, but a great run on the first down, setting up a sh second. Sh and I think this is our first offensive red zone possession here. Officially. And the is the end of the third quarter potentially? Is that what they're calling? So as we've said previously, if you're just tuning in, we do not have a game clock out. We have technical issues, and that's why uh, it's not easy. Most people were waiting on ref communication. That it is the end of the third quarter, and your score at the end of the third quarter is 28 points for the Ottawa Sooners and zero points for your GTA Grizzlies with your GTA Grizzlies offense first red zone appearance of the game. Second and short, looking to make something happen here, Matt. What about a shout out to the sponsors, maybe? Quarterback Toheed in the red zone. First red zone possession here for the GTA Grizzlies offense. Looking to get the crowd into this game. Looking to find some momentum here. Lines it up second in about one. Takes it, hands it off, right up the middle. Forces it. Is that enough for the first? Let's see where the ball's placed. He made the effort. He pushed, he pushed. Either way, it's going to be close. And let's see what they call. It might, might need to bring the chains out. We'll see. They flipped the third down marker on the on the sideline, but let's see the placement. It might be a measurement. We will see exactly. It's great. And looks like it is short. It looks like it will be measured about 
offense will be staying out there, though. This is a bold About th third and one here. And will we see a run play? We might. Yep, we're going to have to run it up the gut here, Irwin. One yard is all you need. Game of inches, like we said. So he takes the snap, hands it off again, finds that hole he needs, and just enough to get the first down. No flags on the play. Move those chains. GTA Grizzlies first down in the red zone on the brink of their first offensive touchdown at home this season. Phenomenal effort there by the running back to get a fresh set of downs. The GTA Quarterback Toheed looking to turn this offense around, take a starting job potentially. Lines it up, takes a snap, hands it off again. Finds one, oh, tries to roll out of that, but gets stuffed by the Ottawa Sooners defense. Not much room to go there. <laughs> Pretty much got back to the line of scrimmage. Second and actually one. Oh, no, they're moving it back. He actually lost a yard. So second and 11 here in the red zone, sitting at about the 15-yard line currently. No doubt it's understandable to want to go to the run on a on a play like that. Uh, you know this Ottawa defense has got to be tired after this drive. Let's see what the call is here. Quarterback Toheed looking to make something happen here for the GTA Grizzlies offense. GTA lines up, scans the field, receivers in motion, and flags. Jumps the gun, this offense. Illegal procedure against the GTA Grizzlies offense. will move them back and that's, five yards. That, that's a heartbreak. That brings him to the 20, I think. Yeah. Yeah, about the 20, yeah. Brings him to the 20. And we're looking about 19 yards here for a first down. Pretty much 20, let's say. The first down marker is at about the two-yard line. And he takes a snap. Rolls left, looks for it. And he makes a play and just through the hands. But there is a flag that might go in the GTA Grizzlies' favor. Incomplete pass. Flags are down. That was a great attempt. Uh, by Unnecessary there. roughness. Roughing the passer, I think, was the call, which would create a first down. If I'm stand, if I'm correcting Matt, is that what you heard there? That's what I. Matt so to someone here. Oh, your Boyd is back in the game. Oh. Let's see what he's got here. Maybe the quarterback had a talk with them, or the coach had a talk with him. Drew something up, saw something here, got the fresh set of downs here. It's Boyd's first attempt in the red zone in this location. Maybe they've been running some some red zone drills and practice with them, and they feel more comfortable here. That's right. He's a starter for a reason, Kevin. Let's see if he can show us, show us why. Boyd lining up at about the five. First and goal. Hands it off, and he gets... Loses about a yard to two yards there. And the Ottawa Sooners defense is fired up there. Num Oh, and there goes the board again. So I think they're maybe it's a trickery game here, or they just uh, maybe I maybe Coach wanted to have a word with uh, Toheed yeah. about uh, a player too because maybe we'll see a certain design QB run potentially here. We saw Toheed use his legs for some gain earlier, so maybe we'll see it again. And that's about second and goal at about the seven yard line here. GTA Grizzlies offense just on the brink of their first touchdown at home this season. Takes a snap. Rolls left. Great block. Flag is down. Throws it in towards the end zone and it's out of bounds. Let's see where the flag and who the flag is against. Two flags down now. So we did not have a lot. I think he also knew the flag was down there too, so I think he was just trying to get the throw off and see. The way Ottawa is yelling profanities, you would think the penalty is against them. That's what it sounds like there, Kevin, and that's, uh, that's good news for the GTA Grizzlies. They're getting, this is their second time getting a penalty in their favor in the red zone, and I think now yeah, there's no excuses but to find a way to capitalize. You need to. You have you keep getting these second chances. You're not going to get too many more. You've got to capitalize on this.
Wow. What's your What's your uh, thoughts on uh, this uh, switching in and out like every other play here? I've had much, much like that uh, two-handed throw that we saw earlier. I've never really seen something like this, where especially with. So that is first and goal at about the four yard line. I wouldn't be surprised on the first down if we see a run here. At this at this yardage or the first down. And quarterback Boyd lining up. Takes a snap, hands it off, and just stuffed immediately. Maybe lost a couple yards even there. And that will be second down and about seven. GT Grizzly second down here, looking to looking to convert. It's the best opportunity we've seen this offense have this game. They've been this close, not this close, Kevin, but you're right, this is the closest that they've been. And he takes the snap, rolls right, looking for it, looking for it, makes the throw, and is just thrown out of bounds, but late flag, unnecessary roughness. Ottawa is losing their mind up 28 points. It makes no sense. So he was hammered there, and... It was late, and you're up that many points. I don't know why you are yelling profanities like that. Coaches are beside themselves. They didn't like that call and well they let us hear yeah I think that wasn't debatable there was it that was clearly late <laughs> Attempt, yeah, he made the best to happen there, and the, the the late hit there. Just like we said, un, we've seen uh, on the GTA side the undisciplined penalties, and now Ottawa up with their lead. I think they're feeling a bit confident that they can just make these unnecessary plays and not be pen and not be hurt for it. But we're seeing a fresh set of downs right at the one here. Goal line offense lines it up and touchdown Grizzlies that is your first touchdown for the Grizzlies at home what a run GTA Grizzlies on the board 28 points for Ottawa 7 for GTA Grizzlies And what a run there by number 39. Lining up for the extra point. And do you think this game, like, now that this makes them down three scores here, do you think this is possible here in the fourth quarter? That they need to come back about three scores, 21 points with about 9.39 left. Um, Ottawa offense getting the ball. Um, we've seen football this time before. It's not often, but that that tu that touchdown by number 11, Ryan quarterback, actually Ryan Boyd. That's why they might have brought him back in the game. He can run. And that must feel great for Boyd, especially after getting pulled earlier in the game. Coach had some confidence in the red zone, said, hey, we believe in your kid. Go back in there, complete this drive for us. And then he took that, took it literally into his own hands and made it happen. That's got to feel good. And if they can get the ball back quick here and get another touchdown, they're right back in this game. Like, it's obviously an uphill and a tough, tough, tough battle, but we've, we've seen the three-score game with this much time left in Canadian football. is doable. And 
And we are seeing Ottawa bench. They are they are heated. Uh, we're wondering if they may be losing their composure, um, or you're wondering if they're just trying to stay motivated. It might be a crazy ball three coming. Let's see what can happen here. A lot, a lot of shots going on. And the kick is off, and Ottawa wants to receive it. They make the catch, running up the middle, takes it left. GT and Grizzlies are there, and they try to get to him, and he cuts back right. Not much room, but finds the hole, gets there in his own, runs into his own man, slows him down just enough in time for those GTA Grizzlies defender on his tail to get to him at about the 48, 49 yard line. And there's a scrum here. Now that it's a three score game, things are starting to get a bit chippy. You gotta love to see this. And let's see if this Grizzlies defense can make a quick stop, save some time, and get that offense back on the field. Because this offense, getting their first touchdown at home this year, must feel good. They're talking on the bench. They got a bit of mojo going. Now they need their defense to put them back on the field and see if they can do it again. Ottawa offense lining up here. Cowan's still in the game. Takes it, hands it off, and he's taken down right about the line of scrimmage. It'll be second and ten. Great defensive effort by the GTA Grizzlies. And you, you wonder in this situation where you're trying to gauge a comeback when the scoreboard not working, if that actually works in your favor because it's harder to manage the clock when you don't know the clock. That's right. But you do know you are down, and as soon as you know they are up, so they're taking their time in starting these plays. Cowan takes the snap, looks yeah, left, flag right. down, throws it up the middle, and it's caught, but there is a flag down. Let's see what the call is and who it is against. And the extra point attempt here for Ottawa. And it's lining up. And he fakes it. 
runs it to the right, and he makes a throw attempt. Dived, no good. Almost, almost. Oh, what a trickery there, Matt. That is, uh, I think that was a whole play by the auto shooter. I mean, I don't want to say I'm that terrible. I mean, they're just practicing stuff after that throw and run. And that makes the score 36 points for Ottawa Sooners to 34 points for your Ottawa Sooners or the Ottawa Sooners, 7 points for your GTA Grizzlies. And Ottawa Sooners are kicking it back off to the GTA Grizzlies after that touchdown. The kick is off, kick is deep, and it's caught by the Grizzlies returning up the middle. Tries to find a hole, jukes left, finds a bit of room, and he gets it to about the 36 yard line. What a great, great reception run by the kick returner there. Of course, 34 points for Ottawa to 7 for GTA Grizzlies. GTA Grizzlies looking to cut into that lead and mount somewhat of a comeback with roughly about, I would say, six minutes we're guessing here. As the scoreboard is out, but we are communicating with the refs to try to get regular time checks for you. 6.30 is the time, actually, we've just gotten in. And thanks for, th thanks for bearing with us here tonight. We are uh, scoreboard out. It's not easy. Legs are out as well, and he rolls to the right. And Toheed is back in the game after that. So Toheed is looking like he's getting snapped, but it looks like they're doing, they're playing the quarterback position by, uh, by uh, community. Yeah, that's right. And let's offside for defense number ten. Getting the penalty there. That will move the chains up or the ball up five yards. So that will be first and five at about the 46 yard line. Right, connect the dots here. Simple plays, move the ball any way you can, get those yards. You can have a good, you can have a good hour. So he's still in the game, takes a snap, hands it off, runs to the left, and just stops. But looks like gains about a couple yards there. Gonna set up about a second and four, about maybe second and three, depending where the spot is. Consistently, really, it's about the consistency, I think, at this point. Just one consistent offense from start to finish. That's how you're gonna. That's how you're gonna compete in this league. It's, it's a tough league to compete if you're not gonna compete in this offense. Correct. I think. And if they're they're young. That's what they're doing. So he takes the snaps, throws right, and looks like there was just too much pressure, and he just wanted to get the ball out and not take the sack. I think he was just getting the ball out of that pressure. No, I think. I think the, the pocket collapsed immediately and he just didn't want to give up anything he didn't have to. Which is a smart play for sure. And that sets up third and short. Looks like they'll be kicking it out. And that's 448 left in the game. At 448 left in the game. Also a full moon in t tonight here, Matt. It's a beautiful night, Brandon. Warm up here in the booth. It's a nice, chilly night. Winter's not here yet. Gotta be thankful for that. And uh, the special teams unit is out for both teams here. GTA Grizzlies will be kicking it off, punting it away to the Ottawa Sooners. And Ottawa will be looking to set their offense up for more points. 
in a with a great return here in a great field position potentially. But we all see we've all, we've also seen the special teams botch a couple catches here and give the GTA Grizzlies some. Oh, and that's a blocked punt. Or he got a piece of that. They pick it up and that actually almost ended up better. And he runs it. And he's running to the one to the. That's a touchdown. That is uh the not a deal. Um, blocked it and uh, ran it back. That's what the Steelers wanted right there. Uh, Brings it to 40 now, I think. It does. There we are. You know, we're, we're 40 to seven, going for the extra point. Yeah. Big time block, big time run back, and able to uh, dodge a couple of tackles there. And if you're an Ottawa fan, I'm sorry for not giving you a, a bunch of excitement on that call, but. I gotta be somewhat biased to my home GTA Grizzlies. I can't give you the excitement. I'm saving it for the Grizz. But it was a, it was a great block by the special teams and a great return there, great effort. Um, and there is a player down here, but this game is definitely getting out of reach. Yeah, if that was Richard Ram, I he wanted that touchdown. He's definitely gonna be be happy with us right home there. Hey, 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 look at this, Kevin. For in the case of the Sooners. They've got to be happy about this. They're going to go ahead of the London Beef Eaters for second in the division. And that's what they wanted going into this game. And uh, they played like they wanted it from the beginning. And luckily the player is walking off with some help. The trainer and another player. Um, hope all is well. At this point of the game, you don't want to see it. Especially that never it never feels good to get hurt, let alone on a touchdown play. No, no, no. Uh, why don't we give a quick shout out to the sponsors there while we got a bit of time here while they're going through this injury timeout. Go wrong with the sponsors. Look at recycling, buying, and selling new and used pallets. Of course, we've got rent. You can give them a call at 416-800-5050. Engage 416. Zen Athletic Department. Bowl Air Digital Media. If it can be imagined, it can be created. And Ottawa going for the extra point here, trying to make it 41. And it's a little fake pitch. And this doesn't look like it will be good. Stopped by the Grizzlies. And I'm not sure if Ottawa's designing these just to try out because it's trying to get pretty much as a practice. Or are they just really trying to rub it in? No, well, that's a fair assessment. Maybe it may look like that. It's not this much. My first rifle is that are eating. You can afford to not get them. What I feel they're doing. And yeah, I think it's a practice. Good. You're right. I think I don't think it's a matter of rubbing it in. I think that's just you're you're you know the game is pretty much out of reach in terms of you're not going to blow it up. So you might as well try these trick plays. So when it comes down to crunch time, those tight games or playoffs, you you know which ones that you're comfortable with. You have some reps doing them. That's 100. You don't want to try things on the first try under pressure. If you can try them in no pressure situations, uh, it's good to get that experience knowing that you've done them before. This GTA Grizzlies team will be receiving the ball. This offense will be coming back out. This is that's not comebackable at this point, but I think the GTA Grizzlies offense has yet to put double digits on the board, and that could be something that's a positive to look forward to right now to keep the keep them motivated. Right, looking at the box score there, it'll look better if you got two touchdowns as opposed to the one. Um, and for just building momentum going into future games. That's right. And that's a little squib kick. Just takes it down there at the 40. And the GTA Grizzlies offense will be taken over at the 40 yard line. We'll see if they can uh, make something happen. If, if, if anything, the GTA Grizzlies might actually practice some trick plays of their own at this point. Um, just to see. Uh, get that experience out. And it looks like Boyd is going back to the bench. So it looks like they will be remaining with Toheed at quarterback. And maybe right now they're maybe they just be actually having a starting quarterback battle right now. Maybe that's maybe that's how they're looking at it. They're like, hey, let's give this Toheed kid a shot. Let's see what he has to do and reevaluate going into the next game. Or Boyd is out there actually. Let's see, but he's not. He's actually at receiver there. Boyd, Boyd lining up at receiver and Toheed is still remaining uh, as quarterback. So. Yeah, interesting take here. Let's see how this works out for the GTA Grizzlies. And takes a snap, rolls to the right, looking, makes the pass, and it's completed to who else but Ryan Boyd. QB1, QB2 to QB1. Wow. Um, it works. 
If, if, if it works, it works. I wasn't expecting that. Boy, and Boyd got the touchdown earlier, too. So. That's right. This guy's doing everything out there. He's running, he's catching, he's throwing. He said, if you don't want me throwing the ball, I'm more than happy to run it or catch it or do what I got to do to help this team. And that just shows a great teammate there is, but for, by Boyd. That's correct. Great, great catch. Great throw uh, by Tony. And uh, this, uh, this offense, if they can put points up here, I think that would vouch well for, to go into the remainder of the season. Obviously, they they are down 0-4, almost looming, looking at 0-5, but if you're you're looking to salvage what you can out of the season. Yep, I'll settle for, for a first down. And Tohid lines up, takes the snap, hands it off, runs up the middle, finds a hole, rolls, and he gets enough for the first down. Move those chains. GTA Grizzly, first down. And there will take you, that first down will take you to the three minute warning. And the three games that we've called here, this is the this is the most um, most we've seen this offense have rhythm, and I think that is a positive. And I think if they can continue to roll this to the end of the game, maybe they have more of a mojo, more of an identity going into the next game. The Sparks have been they they've, they've shown. Takes a snap, throws it right, and it's caught! And he's running to the 30, and he keeps going, and he's taken! No, he won't go, but he gets stopped there at about the 24-yard line. Move those chains! GTA Grizzlies, first down. And this is the most. Uh, this is the most uh, offense we've seen uh, by uh, in terms of throwing offense we've seen this GTA Grizzlies at home this season. And if if he can keep this going for the remaining three minutes here, we might have just found our new starting quarterback potentially. Do you think, Matt? Maybe that was Alex Spears on the run. Oh, Offensive nice. lineman, man. Well, I think I, th I know it's the thing with GTA. But they do have a lot of players, like you've seen Boyd as a receiver. There, you, the, a lot of these players are interchangeable. They do play multiple positions, um, and a lot of times you might have a guy listed as O lineman, but they, they do play receiver or tight end. Or that's right. They, you might see them in the mix. They're, it's a young team trying to find themselves, like you said, trying to find that identity, and that is going to. Toheed takes the snap, hands it off, and he runs it up the middle. Four. One thirty-nine, guys. And yeah, that is actually Joseph Vidak at quarterback number six. The jersey tucked in. It was a uh, hard to. Five, oh, it might be five. It's hard to see you, and they tucked that jersey in. What number we got? Open the box. <laughs> I think it's Tohe, to be honest. Yeah, it is Tohe. It is Tohe. And he runs it left, and he tries to find a hole, make the most of it. I'll tell you. That. Line of and that's exactly what you didn't want. And with the yeah, with that jersey talk, sometimes you, you cannot tell the number. It makes it very hard on us. It's rough. <laughs> no doubt about it. Toby gets taken down pretty hard there and now. Uh, yeah, it's third and eleven, and they're looking for points here. Um, it's gonna go for a field goal by the looks of it, and that's probably the best play because you're just trying to put some points on the board and. Uh, and do better than you did last game. Be better than you were the day before. Quite frankly, this will be pretty sure the most points they've had all season if they can make a uh, field goal here. And that's definitely a positive for this team. Yeah, you got to build on the positives. And um, yeah, Ottawa, you against Ottawa, you may have put up or let them score. They might have scored more points on Ottawa's end compared to the first time you played them. But if GTA can also score here, then they're scoring more points than last time also. So, And the kick is off. Uh, it is getting returned by the Grizzlies. He takes it out of the end zone, so that won't be points for the Grizzlies. And he's taken down at about the 14-yard line. It's a hard hit there, but looks like everyone's okay. No injuries there. That was a hard hit, though, Matt. You're probably just going to run it out and... Uh it's a 
and that will be the most that would make the most sense there Matt I think uh, they're Ottawa's taking down their tents on the bench so that is a good sign that they probably will be kneeling it but um, what do you say about uh, the the player of the game there Matt what would your vote be uh, for me I would say uh, maybe Felix Ofori there he's uh, he had some great runs on special there if I'm going with the Grizzlies player and if I'm going with a Ottawa Sooners player it's got to be the quarterback uh, Mr. Cow. and I've, I'm honestly for the GTA Grizzlies if I'm given a Trillium recycling player of the game I am going to give it to actually Boyd because I know he did lo lose the starting reins it seemed by the end of the game but he did get their only offensive touchdown of the game and he did make one of the only complete uh, receptions of the game as well right. and um, I, it, it, I think I would give it to a, def a defensive player potentially but I think Boyd I'm going to give it to him because we've been craving for an, uh, an offensive touchdown all season and we got our first so I'm going to give it to Boyd for the GTA Grizzlies Trillium player of the game and I also am going to give it to quarterback Cowan for the Trillium recycling player of the game for Ottawa I think we can be uh, I think the consensus there is that uh, he's having a he's having a game yeah that's right he's uh, he had a great game kept his team in it focused made great decisions did not really throw away the football and uh, it's a great game for the Sooners and now they are going to move into second place in the division last shot and why don't you do a final shout-out for the sponsors before we wrap it up here? Uh, sure, no, why not? Uh, a shout-out to Trillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets, wrench it up plumbing. Give them a call at 416-800-5050. Engage 416. Zenith Athletic Performance. And, of course, Volair Digital Media. If it can be imagined, it can be. And made. Ottawa did put their backup quarterback in the game and tried to actually make a throw. A quick screen pass went incomplete there. And that quarterback is named, might as well give him the shout out, Bahati Mala Malira. Is that, is that correct, Matt? How, how would you say that? Shout out to me. Shout out to him getting his touch, the second team coming in at the end of the game. And um, there must not be much time left, but they are, I think, just getting some reps in here that they, they didn't want to take necessarily the knee, per se, or run it. They, I think they're just trying to get some people some reps now. Some developmental reps. And he looks it, runs it right, similar play screen, and ooh, good hit by the Grizzlies. They're showing they're not going to go down. You might have won this game, but if you're going to try to add points on us, we're going to give you everything we got. We're not letting up, and that's Grizzly football for you. That's right. Great effort on defense there. Great effort on defense. Despite what the score has been, this is a lot of penalties. And the GTA Grizzlies will get one more attempt with the ball here. Not that it's going to change the outcome of the game, but they will be kicking the ball off and maybe, who knows, add a bit more points on the board. Have some have a, have some fun. Why not? Have some fun at the end of the game here. Maybe get a return, big return here. Find, find a bit of groove. We are here for fun. They are, they are here for wins. They are here for football. That is... <laughs> The We're here having fun yeah. up in the booth. I love it. It is a not a bloodbath, I don't want to say, but it is a it is a, like a battlefield down there on the field. It's yeah. probably not so much fun when you're taking those hits. I tell you. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it, Kim. And there's a substitution trying to find get the, end this game out with a player two here. As we said, we do not have a clock, so we are just uh, we know what's in the seconds, but we can't give you exact. We've been against the scoreboard, against the drones, against the Sooners. It's been an uphill battle for us up here too, Kevin. Yeah, it's been a grimy night here in Brampton, that's for sure. And the kick is off. It's short, and it bounces, and he takes it, looks for the run, and there's a flag. And he runs, take it out out of bounds at about the 48-yard line. And let's see what the flag is for. And that's game, and the final score of your game is 40 points for Ottawa Sooners and 7 points for your GTA Grizzlies. I'm Kevin. I'm Matt. Thanks for watching. And want to do one more shout out of the sponsors while they're here? Right, yep. We've got to do the sponsors before we get out of here. And our trillion player of the games will, uh, I think we're both agreeing, Cowan on Ottawa. And uh, who do you got? And I got Boyd on uh, Grizzlies. I'm going to go Boyd. I'm switching. I'm going Boyd. Kim got the touchdown of the game, so we'll give it to Boyd. And let's give a last shout out to the sponsors before wrapping this up. Trillium recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. Wrench it, wrench it up, plumbing. 416 800 50 
Engage 416, Zenith Athletic Performance, and of course, us, Vol Air Digital Media. If it can be imagined, it can be created. And that's all from us tonight, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Until the next time, GTA Grizzlies Football, Canadian Junior Football League, we'll be back. Have a great evening, everybody.